I'm Shovel and welcome back to my VOD channel. Today we're playing a game called Coffee Talk, where we run a coffee shop and people like elves, vampires, orcs, all come to have a cup of coffee and talk about their feelings. And don't forget to subscribe. Uh, what is gonna be our name? Because I definitely don't wanna just be referred to as barista. Imagine when you're working your job and people just refer to you as your job title and not even as your name. <laughs> I guess that's actually waiters. That's just waiters. <laughs> Excuse me, waiter. Cause, okay, but also the thing is, I've never been a waiter. I have been a service worker, but I've never been a waiter. And I know that they always tell me their name. One, I don't always remember. I'm not good at remembering names, but two, a waiter giving me their name, I am never gonna call them over by their name. I'm not, well, I'm not either gonna be like, Waiter! <laughs> I'm never doing that either. But I'm never referring to my waiter by their name like, excuse me, Josh. <laughs> that feels too personal and intimate and I just, I won't be using their name. I'll be using just, excuse me. Thank you. That's it. But I do feel bad because they always give me their name and I will, I just don't, I will not ever remember it. We are gonna be just Shelby today. I'll be me today, I guess. Still gonna put on the accent though. Lucky for me, my rat character had, its, had the same name. Oh, now I can do options. That's, I don't like when a game puts the options after, uh, because I like getting it set up for all the rest. I like getting it set up first. Um, it does still feel loud. I don't know what ambience is gonna be, but I could always fix it later. Is the music good? Is the volume of, I love the music in this game already so much. I like the little ding while you're trying to figure out the volume. Ding, ding, ding. Um. Aha. I, am I the only one that, ooh, never mind, it's ugly when you do it, not full screen. Uh, I like borderless windowed. That's my preferred, if you have an opinion on it. Okay. I don't know what we're doing, but we're gonna make coffees, that's all I know. This game is not free. Is it too quiet? No way. I don't know that I believe it. Oh wait, I can fix it here a touch more but I'm finding it hard to believe it's too quiet. It's so loud, I feel like. Oops. Why is this game a mature rated game? It's a mature rated game? Oop. <laughs> I could only imagine that it probably gets maybe like adult conversation-y. Um, there are adult characters in relationships and talking about life problems, so it might be a bit mature in topic in that regard. There's not, do they have sex in this game? <laughs> Tell me they don't have sex in this game. I'll accept one spoil. <laughs> this isn't, please tell me they don't. The ace is nervous. You can play this on Twitch, right? <laughs> that would definitely not be allowed on Twitch. Um. Okay, I figured it's just like life stuff. Maybe it's a little bit deep. <laughs> It's like I did play the game, uh, what's it called? Daddy Simulator, but there was so much I had to cut out when I made a YouTube video. <laughs> uh, I just I just need to be prepared for it if there is. I'm not against it. You just have to, you can't, you can't throw an ace in that unsuspectingly. I could be, I could, you know. <laughs> okay, good to know, we're safe. A city filled with dreams and madness. I've been to Seattle, I don't love it, it's not for me. No offense. <laughs> it doesn't look like this most of the time. Uh, a time when the great war between races is a, but a footnote in history. I wanna believe that this is the world after Undertale or something like that. All the monsters are ab above ground now. We're not even in New York, we're in Seattle, but that is, I guess, the city of coffee. You know what I mean? 
Why is there sex in the coffee game? I, there could be. I, I wouldn't see that being that impossible of a thing. <laughs> a time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. Uh, and have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. Usually it's rain, usually rain happens. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups, <laughs> when the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their autom automotive empires, when orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives, and when humans live among them as driven as ever. Yeah, there's elves in this. So, okay, am I crazy for thinking there might have also been sex in this game? Please. You said it's mature and I didn't know. <laughs> it is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. <laughs> Most of these stories are left untold. But some few find solace, solace? How do you say that one? I don't know that I ever, ever said it out loud. In Embrace of bricks and wood and glass. Do I look smarter with my glasses on? I got a collar on my short. They're told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. I like the intro a lot. <gasps> Is that a little cat old man? Is that a... It, I hope I get to serve him coffee. Does he have a little... Is that a cat? First of all, he's got ears, but it looks like he has a little white mustache and he's in a little green coat and has a little white hair. <laughs> and I love him so much. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. <gasps> is it because I'm a vampire? Headcanon, I'm a vampire barista, okay? A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. I like the idea of a coffee shop at night. You know, they, they serve you coffee as a dessert sometimes, so it's not that people think I'm crazy for having coffee at nighttime. It's like they give you that in restaurants after you're done eating. What's the difference? They give you a whole cappuccino. Ooh, that scared me. <gasps> Ooh, I'm excited. I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh. Welcome. Oh, it's you. I know her. Freya. Hey, Shelby. How's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. Oh, you guys are going to love this game, I think. <laughs> I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Are we gonna have sex? <gasps> no way. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So I'm used to taking things slow. Writer's block again? You got that right. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Uh, pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot? Espr triple at night? Okay, that's... That's crazy. Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? <laughs> yeah, it happens. Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. My phone. Tomoda. Chill. Freya, storyteller, birthday. 29th of January. Somebody tell me her astrological sign, please. <laughs> Writer for the Evening Whispers. Talk about mundane things. Talks about mundane things, art, and life in general. Friends only. Close friends only. They were really good friends. Georgie? Birthday, June... Fr Wait, did I miss something? No, never mind. I was like, there's a lot of info on her and just none on him. Oh, Aquarius. I don't know anything about what that means. I just wanted to know. Birthday, June 1st. Friends only. Close friends only. What does that mean that they have both? 
Gala. Oh. Birthday, September 13th. Friends only. Close friends only. And has a cat or somebody? Oh, oh many cats like him. I like him too then. Okay. Um... Brew pad. Oh god. Are they gonna make me know all these things right away? The pizza game only made me know what cheese was first. And then I learned pepperoni. And then I learned sausage. <laughs> oh, those are things. So it's like starter, you have to get to be, you unlock like the little, whatever, okay. Cafe latte, coffee, milk, and milk. <laughs> Cappuccino, I don't need these. I'm just gonna click them so they go away. Undiscovered. Okay, so we've only got cafe latte, cappuccino, dark chocolate, espresso, and a green tea latte. And I could check my phone anytime I need. Um, what happened to the music? That freaked me out. Okay. Espresso's coffee, coffee, coffee. All right. Co coffee. <laughs> Coffee and coffee. Trash. <laughs> One cup of triple shot espresso. Mmm, that aroma. Exactly what I need. Anyway, where were, where were we? Your plan to do something? Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know. But it... You know. <laughs> but it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. In case things go awry. Uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. And I'm funny. She thinks I'm funny. You said we don't have sex? <laughs> you said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? GRA Media, right? Yes. And they are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally I pitched my book idea. Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. I better not have dialogue that means that I think it's stupid, because I don't. So how did they react? What? Did I make her think that I think she's stupid? I don't agree with that. Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories, so he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. That sounds great! What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours, and I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Er... I assume the number of words you've written is not too far from zero? Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Uh, well, it was so bad that, well, after reading it, I decided to delete everything immediately. Me. <laughs> so, zero. Yes, I really need to finish it at most in two weeks. In at most two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan, if you can pull it off. I'm not very encouraging, am I? That's a shame. I know, I know, you don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad the place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. <gasps> a customer! My worst nightmare. Oh! Just kidding, hello. <laughs> Hi there. Hello? Good evening. Oh, I thought she was like, hello? For here, miss? Yes, please. 
I'm not really sure what to order though. What do you recommend? I know how to make a bean espresso, I'm just saying. That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. <sighs> Boo. <laughs> not planning to be awake all night. Oh, not an espresso. So definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? I got hot chocolate. I got hot chocolate. I also have tea. I know how to do tea, apparently. It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in it, please. Okay, I know how to do that. I know how to do that. That's the wrong thing. That's the wrong thing. I'm panicking. Brew pad. Uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just chocolate. Are you gonna be like me, chat? Where we fall in love with everyone immediately? Because I'm good. <laughs> we are the same. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. I wouldn't have said that, that was weird. <laughs> so warm. We're gonna just fall in love and have a crush on every single, everyone. So you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yeah, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. You can just make up drinks as long as it follows what they said. So I could have mixed whatever I wanted as long as one of those ingredients was chocolate just then. I love that because the, uh, the pizza game punishes you hard <laughs> when you mess up someone's order. It sounds nice that I have a little bit of wiggle room with this game because it's not about hustling and grinding, actually making coffee. It's about the stories that you're, you're reading and learning about. I thought this place would be more crowded. Consi have I not asked her name yet? Considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. That's not a bad idea. Is Would this be a bad idea? Am I, are we? Would I be the only one who'd be there? No way. I mean, diners have coffee at night. You go to IHOP. <laughs> Chocolate. Are they both cosplayers? <gasps> I'm, I don't know if you're for real asking that or not, but these people really have elves and dwarves and... Um, like those are just, this is a fantasy game. These creatures exist here. Isn't that cool? <laughs> because it's the only coffee shop that's still open past midnight, midnight, but it's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, it is good for business having the coffee shop. Is it good for business have it, having the coffee shop only open at night? Definitely not. Yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. There's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? That's a secret. Shelby here is damn rich. <laughs> That's the secret. Hell yeah. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Oh, but she, but not wrong? I'm a little bit... Am I wealthy? I'm upper middle class. Don't worry about it, Shelby can manage. <laughs> I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. I'm loaded. I'm loaded, actually, I think. So you'll have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who work, works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the evening whispers. Shut up. <laughs> wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. I love them. I hope that the boyfriend sucks so then we can um, meddle, get them to break up, and then get these two together. And then we'll get me someone. I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? It's love, they're in love. Look at that, look at the way, look at her, looking at her laughing. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then are you here to write a new piece? I should be, but I don't even know what to write about. <gasps> the boyfriend. I hope he's a dick. I hope I hate him. I hate him. I actually hate him. Why are you wearing a scarf with a short sleeve shirt? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. You're not dressed for the same type of- what weather are you dressed for? Welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. Yeah, you should be. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. 
Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Hmm. Why does he look like that? Why is he like this? <laughs> like, she's looking the same way, but he's like this. Surprise me. What kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Oh, they're the same, though. They make sense, actually, maybe. Maybe we're being too harsh. I just actually hate the scarf and short sleeve shirt. What? I don't understand. Are you cold or are you warm? Do you have any preferences, sir? Don't zoom in. Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on top. So you ask him for too much, man. Why can't you make it easy? I'll do. Yeah, I'll just make him a, a latte, right? I don't know. No way! This is awesome! How do I do it? Um, nothing's getting left behind. How do you make, like, a thing? It's a middle finger. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know how to do it. Is this what you call latte art? Okay, to be honest, I did not try. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> uh, perfect. Yeah, it is. Hold on, I want to read my phone. Did I learn anything about her? Why does it have, um... What was the update to this that it had a little, like, thing? I don't know. Okay, I just wanted to check. Uh, to check. Anyway, I was distract uh, distracted by some work, plus there's the rain. So you put a scarf on <laughs> around your neck. It's okay, Baileys? I was having a nice chat with them. Did I read that, her calling him Baileys? Or am I, did I read something weird? Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. Oh, you know, his name is Bailey's. Okay, Bailey's? There's, that's like more than one though. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet both of you, I'm Shelby. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. The music switch up scares me. <laughs> like the alcohol. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The I draw middle fingers in their latte art. <laughs> the only bad customers this late at night are just are lost drunks or criminals. I say that so casually. Like, they're just willing to maybe do harm to a person. Do a crime. Rob me. That sounds really bad. No, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. I want to believe I'm a vampire still. I'm, I'm headcanoning that we're a vampire because the game has not led me to believe anything else. They didn't say I'm human. And until they do, I'm assuming I'm a vampire and that's why it's open at night. And why I'm rich. And why I'm so strong and can beat up criminals trying to rob me. It all makes sense. Is it really loud? I feel like it's really loud now. It got, I feel like this bit got loud. Not as good as your coughing making skill though. Thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really needed to start, uh, to start my writing. Whatever it is that I'm going to write. So I'll leave you two. You, she's just gonna still be sitting there though, right? Like, is she gonna get up? In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. What are you going, oh, where are you going to write? Oh, she, she is leaving. Oh, not far. <laughs> just over at that table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. I'll try. Good luck. I don't like reading the laughing. It's weird. Thanks. Oh. Oh. They don't look... <laughs> like they would date. <laughs> you know what I mean? Should we move to other seats too? Oh, he's so tired of being over here with me. No, here's good. Okay, then. <laughs> So how was your day? And I'm just here listening. 
it was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is, but today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? That's a weird thing to say about your boss. It was really nice to see him smile <laughs> so much today. Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this is a this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. A Karen. You could you could call her a Karen. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. And lose my current project for a minute of laughter? That might be worth it. You should ask Shelby here how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah? Why does he look like that? Look at him looking at me! Uh, how do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need your fists to take care of. I do have my own methods, but it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's one, one good lesson to learn for the day. <laughs> oh. Oh, awkward. What's going on here? Your parents? Yes. So you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. I don't feel like I should be here for this. She's smoking indoors? Hold on. This is not a place that would be, I would not accept that indoors. You can go on the patio, that's fine. Take it outside. They won't give us a chance at all? Anyone but an elf. <gasps> they hate him because he's an elf. Oh, I feel bad for him. Maybe he's not that bad. I just really am confused by his scarf. It's, it, it's really bothering me. <laughs> it's the graphic team with a scarf in the rain. That's what they said. More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. Oh, oh, oh. I definitely don't feel like I should be here for this. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still, you don't know what they said about you last night. Okay, maybe we like him. Maybe he's actually fine. He stood up for her. He's willing to let go of his entire family for her. Maybe a king, actually. <laughs> and just doesn't understand fashion. You know what? That's okay. That is okay. Sometimes they don't know how to dress, and it's all right. Did you see those TikToks of the guy who uh, showed his how his girlfriend upgraded him in the year that they started dating? And he was like, I dress so much better now because of her, and I have such a better haircut because of her, and this is me a year ago, and it's really bad. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or my race, I assume. Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. That's why it's mature rated. No one's having sex. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures, about our immortality, about how even if I outlive you, what? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an, wait, what? No other elves would want to be with an elf that's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. That's exactly what they said. So this is it then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, I was like, who said that? <laughs> no one said that, you don't have to. You know our families will never agree. Who so? We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know what we're, that we're still dating. We can just continue to lay to the way we've always been without them knowing. And then what? Do you wanna be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. Oh, so if, oh, interesting. Elves can't leave their family or they're not immortal anymore. But she's already not immortal. So, <gasps> maybe we love him. Maybe he is a king. If I get to sp spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. You're making this hard for both of us. Girl, you're making it hard. 
Put the cigarette out, too. <laughs> do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait! Oh no! This was a plot twist. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. I didn't even try to not listen at all. I didn't even like turn around. I didn't walk away to like a different corner of the bar. Nope. That's all right. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. I hope so too. Just w pick your chin up a little bit. Can I give you some advice? Take the scarf off and pick up your chin. Do you have any alcohol? <laughs> he wants some Baileys. Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes? I'll take one. I don't know how to do that. Hold on. Okay, green. Milk and milk. This is easy. I like this. I like this because I don't have to like panic while I'm doing it. It's a latte, so I have to give it. I'm gonna do a better job than last time. I actually, I don't know how to do it though. What's etch? No. Okay, wait. Oh, I don't know what. What? How do you make it stay behind though? I'm trying to do. Well. Here, wait, a heart. Nope, that doesn't. It's a flower. That part's hard. Here's your green tea latte. Okay, good, he didn't have anything to say about my art. Thanks. This is good, thank you for this. By the way, are you married? Me? No. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop. I love me, <laughs> but I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all the people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can if you try hard enough. At least that's what my old man said. He really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. He's not being an asshole though. Anyway, I need to go now and probably drink myself under <laughs> until the sun rises. There's still a while until sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you, do visit again. Okay, we like him and uh, I do wish for the best. Oh my God, I thought she left. <laughs> I thought she was at a table. You were listening from the corner? Yes, poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay, I think I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna close up the shop after this. That's pretty early, I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Oh, that's why it's limited stuff. This is just like the little like, tutorial excuse. Okay, you have a good night then. You too. Okay, so things are gonna get harder because there's definitely gonna be more things that I have to make, but it seems easy enough. Dark chocolate, a warm and calming, a warm and calming darkness. <laughs> okay. So tag yourselves, who are you? I'm a vampire. That's why I have a coffee shop at night and why I'm really strong and rich because I'm rich, I'm loaded. Are you a succubus? Are you an elf? I saw a cat person. Um, I think Freya is a human. And then I don't know what else. Yeah, you can tag yourselves later. I think there's probably more, more things to pick. So if you haven't seen you yet, you can just wait. I really hope the old cat man is the character. Don't tell me if he is though. I don't, I, I want it to be a surprise and don't tell me if he isn't because I don't want my heart broken right now. Uh, Wednesday, 2020. What, zombies? Zombie virus from Africa may have reached Seattle. Seattle groceries distribu distribution problems harm local restaurants. Fire plans to enforce stricter regulations to manage illegal immigration. Are we gonna have new customers? Tell yourself, are you, are you a zombie? <laughs> Ooh, wait, wait, let me, I have to be on my phone really quick. Ah! Okay, we got Bailey's. 
He would have his picture in black and white. He's making more sense the more I'm getting to know him, actually. His scarf and t-shirt. <laughs> Wearing freelance designer, museum and art gallery frequenter, art school. He's an art kid. How did I not realize that? We'll draw and design for food and shelter. Lua. That's French? I think. That's it. That's all I know. Okay. Good evening. Good gracious. What is wrong with you? Can't you just enter like a normal customer? I'm sorry, but I'm so excited to share this with you. What are you talking about? I know what to write for my novel. Is it one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, okay. Just tell me what are you going to write about? This coffee shop. What? I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come here. Lua has the same birthday as you. Ooh, that's fun. Wait, who's the Leo? Was it him? Does that make even more sense? Oh my god. He, it, it's, it's all making sense. We were mean at first. We were all mean and we called him icky and we were wrong. Are you for real? Yes. What if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. That's a breach of the customer's personal lives, you know. Relax, I know that. I just need some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based? Knife Walker novel versus movie level loosely based. The old one? Of course I'm talking about the old one. Hmm. That's already very different, you know. You can't get more different than that. I mean, it's not like I can tell you not to write about a coffee shop, right? Why am I being so difficult? <laughs> I could just let her. No, you can't. Although you can just ban me from coming. Okay, you're banned. What? Just kidding. I wouldn't do that to my loyal customer. My only customer. <laughs> Is Freya human? I'm only guessing. I don't actually know because she didn't say. But she doesn't have any funky ears and I have not seen a tail. I haven't checked though. <laughs> Very funny. Thanks for not banning me though. Anyway, I'm really excited to see who's going to come tonight. I wonder what kind of stories they'll have. Oh god. Good evening, y'all. Good evening, Officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Seems like you're in high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. And please, Shelby, no need to be that formal with me. We're both on duty here, hence the formalities. You're as stiff as I didn't read the rest. <laughs> anyway, I have a shift tonight, so I'll need the usual. You're gonna have to remind me what that is, sir. I don't even know your name. Uh, you have all the ingredients today? Not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for tea, I'm out of tea. You still remember my favorite, right? Coffee with a hint of sweetness. You got that right. Make sure not to use milk. Yeah, thanks to your to How do you say it? To tomoda chill? Tomoda chill? <laughs> Profile, everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. Anyway, a cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. What does that mean? So no milk. It, it He definitely wants coffee in it. Oh, and he wants his sweet, but no milk. Do I just do two coffees? Or two honeys? I'll do two honeys. He said sweet. I'm giving him sweet. I don't know what the ginger... I don't know anyone that would want ginger in their coffee. I don't know what ginger does for coffee. Coffee with honey for the man on duty. Not everyone can manage this combination as well as you. Yeah, I don't know if I would eat. drink that. <laughs> Thank you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. Provide me with service like you gave the old pop here, please. What are you having? You still need to ask, huh? You never know. Espresso, of course. The one and only espresso. Boop, boop, boop. I like this game that the point isn't the coffee. And I'm not stressed out <laughs> when I'm doing it. And I'm not being rushed and there's not a time limit. A starless night sky for the green-haired fairy. She's a fairy? She's not human. She's a fairy? <gasps> wow. Where are your wings? Do they have wings? Maybe fairies don't have wings in this world. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's a compliment or not. This is perfect. So how's everything going at the paper, Miss Freya? As usual, awful. She's making a risky deal with her boss. Yeah, pretty much. What kind of deal? A possibly life-altering deal. 
A very dangerous one at that. Okay. A deal she regretted. Not that much. Folks, seriously, care to share the details properly? You tell him. It's your thing. <laughs> Why do I have to tell him? She's secretly using her work hours to do something else. Something like writing her own novel. You got balls. I can tell that. <laughs> she does. Gee, thank you. How's the leap of faith going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. And I haven't seen any safe haystacks to fall into. Good luck with that. <laughs> Don't worry, she's not losing her job. At least not yet. Her life will be pretty hard if she messes things up, though. Thank you for the reminder. So yeah, as Shelby said, my editor-in-chief doesn't know about it yet. But my novel is going to be published by our parent company anyway. So technically, I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed off if she finds out, though. Wait, is stealing time a crime? Technically, I might have to arrest you. <laughs> hey, you do it all the time, too. Those are just coffee breaks. Sometimes they might take longer than they're meant to. But still, coffee breaks. You're making me feel worse by saying that. You should feel bad. Stop adding salt to the wound, okay? It's just a fact. I don't even know what we're poking fun at her for. I don't even know what she said. <laughs> Uh, my kettle lap, thank you for the prime. Dolphin Ghost, thank you for subscribing. Shuffle MC, thank you for subscribing. Uh, Grace and Light, Disguised Shark. And James. Titty Dens, <laughs> 10 o'clock. And Guest Trash, thank you guys for subscribing. I missed those before. Uh, I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not, but if your writing career goes up in flames, the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. Just don't mention that you like to do other things during work hours. I want to say thanks, but I feel like I should be offended. I'm sure you'll do just fine, Miss Freya. Do you have any idea what you're going to write? I have, actually. Oh, good. What will it be about? A coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. Georgie... Oh. You're letting her do that? There's no stopping her. What's wrong? Please don't write about any shady-looking police officers who love to take breaks more than they should inside the coffee shop near their post. <laughs> I will definitely write about that police officer. He'll make a good comedic character. Was that a compliment or are you making fun of me? I would call that a compliment. Is it? I don't think so. Hey, what do you have against me tonight? Shelby's probably worried about losing customers due to breach of privacy. Come on, it's not like I'll be using real names. And I'll dramatize most things I've heard, of course. That's even worse! Here's the thing. The stories I've heard, they'll only be the inspiration for what I write. By the way, as someone stationed here, I assume you've heard a lot of stories from people around here, right? No. Come on. Nope. No, no, no. You helped me once with one of my stories I wrote for the paper. The one about the secretly rich beggar hanging around the block. I'm sure you can give me other interesting tips. I helped you more than once, actually. What, really? Now it's my turn to say, come on. Which stories are you talking about? You asked for information about the busker. The one who's always playing his guitar, always got a rose with him. Oh yeah, that guy. Yes, poor guy. Hearing about your girlfriend passing during, inv during an investigation is... I don't know. It's hard. He took it quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least you gave him closure. He never complained that you used his story for the paper? I got his blessing before giving it to the editors. Well, at least he's become more popular since the article was published. More income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, the rose has become some kind of prop for him now. Anyway, back to the topic. Any hot tips? Okay, have you heard about this one girl? Ooh, tell me. Lately, this girl's been coming to a coffee shop in the area more than before. She's pretty weird. I don't know what her deal is. But she has bright green hair. Oh, come on. I was so excited to hear about something real. You think you're not real? Wow, that went deep fast. Faster than my career going downhill. Hey, what's with the sudden mood? Yeah, cheer up. Sorry, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. By the way, why this coffee shop? Uh, because I spent a lot of time here, I guess. And then there's this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday. What about them? They're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures, families don't approve. When I heard their story, I kind of felt their pain. What's happening to them happens to a lot of people. It's been told in fictional form countless times before, and it's always an interesting topic to discuss. 
Are there are they regulars here? Nope. The girl visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. She was with her coworkers or clients. Helping her friends sober up, I guess. You gave people coffee to sober up? Of course not. Some folks request coffee, but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them tea, hot chocolate, or just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Hmm, good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's time for my shift. Oh yeah, go on and do your job, old man. Don't forget to share anything interesting you hear with me. Let's not make this a habit. Can't promise you that. Okay, see you later, everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. Later. I like how they just vanish. <laughs> I want to believe that they actually canonically do that. They don't actually walk out. The bell is uh, symbolic. I think I need to go back to my writing. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So I'll move to my usual corner. Good luck with the writing. And don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. Oh, you're just the best, Shelby. You're welcome. Okay, off to the world of imagination I go. I would be checking to make sure all my, my, my good friends, people I care about, have water. That's why I complain about how much England doesn't have water and they don't drink enough water over there. <laughs> Hmm, that should do for the experiment. Ah, someone is coming. I'm experimenting? Whoa. Oh, welcome, Mr. Gal. Oh, he's the guy from the phone. Him. This guy. That's why he's covered in band-aids. Because he's playing with cats. Okay. And then... Journalist and short story writer, you can read my surreal and weird stories at the Evening Whisper. Idolize and aspire to be someone like Neil Ga uh, Gail Naiman or Maruki Harukami. Born and raised in Seattle, lactose intolerant. Okay, I just wanted to read those. Welcome, Mr. Gala. Hi, Shelby. Can we sit here? Sure thing, sir. Who's that? Hmm, this is the place you recommended? You don't like it? It's fine. I think she's a vampire. I think she's a vampire, which is cool because I'm, I'm, I'm a vampire, actually. Um, f funny story. I know it's not like coffee shops you used to in LA. Oh, she's from LA? But Gala, it's fine. I thought she was covering her fangs or something. Er, sorry to interrupt. Do you want to order anything? Yes. What do you want to drink? You first. Okay. Anything with coffee and ginger, please. Okay. I don't even I don't even need the phone. <laughs> I can make things up. Here you go. I don't know what that is. Is it good? Thank you. You're welcome. How about you, sir? Oh. What would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. Not sure if it'll be to your liking or not. I'll have whatever he's having. <gasps> Interesting. He's having coffee with ginger and milk, which is weird. <laughs> that was my bad. Here's your order. Hmm, good choice. Anyway, how's the town treating you so far? Same old. I was surprised. Oh, I don't know why it was reading. I don't know. I was surprised seeing so many changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, things changed a lot in just 20 years. Even this coffee shop. I believe this was a bar back then. When did you open this coffee shop? We opened around six years ago, mister. Hyde. My name is Hyde. Is he hot? I can't tell. <laughs> from what I gathered, you're from LA, right? I am. I used to live here decades ago, though. What brings you back to Seattle? I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. Ooh. He travels a lot. I see. You two have known each other for a long time, I assume? You could say that. Yeah, I think we met not so long after you got married, right? It was around the 60s, I believe. Are they both vampires? He's married? Wow, that was a long time ago. Not for our kind. Are they brothers? I was going to say I think they're brothers, but they didn't... I didn't think they were both vampires. Why is one of them purple? <laughs> not for our kind. Wait, if I'm not mistaken... 
Oh, the peace treaty between werewolves and vampires was signed in 1865. That's why cats like him or don't like him. I can't tell. So when you guys said you met in the 60s, were you talking about the 1860s? Okay, you don't have to answer, it's fine. <laughs> no, we met in the 1960s. We're old by some racist standards, but not that old. Although it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time. This was the place, wasn't it, where we first met? Yeah, when it was a bar. They moved? Bankrupt. Ah, such a pity. Are they gay? <gasps> Are they a couple? They were giving me brother vibes, but now I'm getting couple vibes. They're in love. It's a vampire and a werewolf, and they're in love. And it was a gay bar in the 60s. Uh-huh. Uh, you're happy the bar closed down? What's with the smile, if you don't mind? <laughs> Nothing. I was just wondering, will history repeat itself? I certainly hope not. I've been coming to your place since the first week you opened. You've got something special here. Yeah, because I know him. He's in my phone. I have his number. It won't close down anytime soon. Thank you, Mr. Gala. It's weird that I'm not calling him his first name, but this guy let me call him his first name. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Busy at work? Kinda. With the news about that newfound virus going viral, the hospital has been extremely crowded. Is the virus that dangerous? No one is sure about that, but most people who come in are just... I don't want to use this word, but they're just paranoid. You're still doing the same job in the same hospital? What was it called? Admi admission officer. And yes, I'm still at a, hosp a hospital admission officer there. They should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and long service. They offered me a managerial position, but I declined. I prefer doing this. <laughs> Teach their own. Anyway, I was wondering, do they still sell legal blood at your hospital? They do. Although people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore. They can just order through the Blood Marketplace app. Are you talking about Bloodlast? Uh-huh. Bloodlast get their supply from the hospital? They can't certify their blood on their own. Only hospitals and the Ministry of Health can do that. They're just middlemen with a lot of sales promos. Do you, you use it often? Not really, I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle. But I do know the founder of that startup. Oh yeah, how's your vegan diet going? Maybe he is Mr. Hyde. Well, he said, no, his name is Hyde, and he's Mr. Gala. But he goes by Gala. But I don't know his name. It's not easy, but nothing I can't conquer. Excuse me for asking. By going vegan, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? Not real blood. Synthetic blood. Oh my god, it's like, uh, true blood. I watched that, but it got weird, and I didn't like it anymore. Synthetic blood? It'd be too complicated to explain. But basically, some scientists are working to make some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind without relying on real blood. Considering real blood has some cultural and health concerns. Does it taste the same? More or less, yeah. Isn't it expensive? It is. I can afford it, though. But again, they're still working on it, trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Hmm. Would synthetic blood taste good if mixed with other ingredients? Am I about to start making blood lattes here for the vampires? Because I'm a vampire, I would know that. I would know all of this, actually, because I'm I'm also a vampire, actually. Uh, Head cannon. I wanted to be a vampire in the game. Why? You want to start selling blood-based drinks? It might attract new customers and turn off others. Fair point. Honestly, I don't know if mixing it would taste good. Most vampires prefer drinking raw blood. Although some do try experimenting with other things. Other things? Mostly booze. Wait, he's vegan? but drinking milk in his coffee. Oh, he, he didn't tell me. He didn't tell me he was vegan when I gave him milk. He didn't tell me that. <laughs> but I know some mix it with not so legal substances. <laughs> you know a lot. I work in a hospital, remember? What other things? Hey, talking about my vegan lifestyle reminded me to ask you something. Is there milk in this? <laughs> about what? Your monthly fury. I thought I said fury. Found a less painful method to restrain yourself? Not yet. Monthly Fury! That's funny. But I do know that it's a drink. What kind of drink? A certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Is that why you ordered coffee with ginger? Yes, I'm exploring the possibilities, but this drink wasn't the one. I guess there's too much caffeine in coffee for it to be the remedy. Why don't you use the Fury sedative available on the market? I don't trust them. Besides, that sedative is too general. 
Each of us has our own remedy that we need to find. And sometimes the effectiveness can change as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? Why do we even have ginger in a coffee shop also? Enough to calm me down. And that's all I need, to be honest. At least your calming method is only a drink. I heard some werewolves need to... Kinky stuff to soothe themselves during their fury. What kind of kinky? Like BDSM. That only happens in porn. Wait, what? It's famous among our kind. You don't have to feel ashamed if you like watching that kind of thing, you know? Hey, friend. Oh, a friend A friend told me about it. A friend? Not me. I just, it was from a friend. I learned about everything I know from Tumblr. Personally. That's the only reason I know about stuff. Well, he was pulling your leg. Damn. I mean, having sex as a calming method is pretty common. <laughs> but normally we stick to vanilla stuff. Come to think of it, it would be pretty brutal during... Do okay. <laughs> exactly. So continuing with the, your story, how far along are you in finding the ingredients for the remedy? So far all I know is it involves ginger. And probably something lightly caffeinated. Oh, he's definitely into him actually, I think, now. <laughs> like tea, maybe. You better write that down. You won't want him wreaking havoc in the coffee shop. We don't have any tea today. But the next time you're visiting, maybe I can try brewing the remedy for you. Oh, that's why we have ginger, because it's usually for tea. That would mean a lot. Excuse me for a moment. I'm sorry, I have to go now. <laughs> that's... Wow. There's an emergency at the hospital. Oh, I think I'll go back now as well. We can share a cab. All right. Thank you for the drink. These people are paying me, right? You, you, you guys are all paying. We're, I'm making money? I'll probably visit this coffee shop again before I go back. So I'll see you around. Thank you for coming. Take care on your way home. Bye. <laughs> so there is sex. It's just we're not the ones having it. Bummer. <laughs> are you done with your writing for tonight? Kinda. Those two guys. Kind of reminds me of this video I saw online. <gasps> Not you too. I would prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. It's a video of a wolf pup playing with a baby tiger. It's nice to see friendships that grow in unlikely circumstances. Oh, that video. What? What video did you think I was talking about? You know. Never mind. You? I was just joking. Please don't do jokes. You're really bad at it. Anyway, it was a pretty interesting and productive night, but now I need to get some sleep. Yes, please don't forget to get some rest. I'll see you again tomorrow, I assume. Oh, don't you worry. I will be here tomorrow. Night, night. Be careful on your way back. It's kind of fun to be friends with someone, and also you can hang out where they work and just like be there the whole day. But also, you don't even have to talk to each other. I'll just be in a booth doing my work. But also, anytime you do want to talk to me, I'm right here. We're hanging out, but also doing our thing separate in your place of work. And I think that that sounds like a fun, that sounds fun. I wish I knew a coffee shop owner. Uh, sugar and spice. <gasps> we making pumpkin spice lattes now. It's the season. At least I don't have to worry about money in this game either. And also all my shit breaking all the time. Like the pizza game. We're not playing the pizza game. We're playing this game actually. I'm gonna take that out of the title. <laughs> Maybe pizza game later? No pizza game later. Playing coffee talk. Coffee talk. Um. Okay. You drinking coffee? Everybody should be drinking coffee. Uh, I'm afraid that when I click, it's gonna skip this screen, so I'm just gonna read it without clicking it, because, but that's why there's no music. Despite losing a member, Super Smile's latest album sold a million copies. Blogging is now part of curriculum at some private schools. Stop workplace racial profiling, the Orkish Workers Union demands. We still have brain. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, okay, I didn't. Oh. Yay! Oh. Hello. Welcome. Yo. A cup of honey milk, please. Right away. What is that? What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay. Hide. 
Supermodel. Vegan vampire. Professional model. I don't know what this bit is. Oh. Oops, oops, oops. So now I have ginger latte. And they just asked me for something I definitely don't know how to do. What'd they even say? Honey. What'd they say? Oh no, I forgot. <laughs> what did they say? Honey tea? Honey milk. Honey milk. So, milk. Two milk and a honey? Or milk and two honey, do you think? Which one would you do? I'm thinking two milk and a honey, but because I feel like the ratio should be more milk to more milk to honey. That's what I think. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I know either is fine. I'm just asking, which one would you do? Just curious. Your honey milk is ready. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, is this a message log for... Oh, cool. Yeah, I forgot what she said. <laughs> I remembered honey and I was like, what's the thing? Do you have to fill out all three? Uh, I actually don't know, but I will every time because it feels like I should. Hey, Shelby, seems like there's a cat. There's no way I wouldn't have noticed. There's no way I wouldn't have noticed. Oh my God, she got in with me. Oh, it just got in. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. It's a shop cat. It's going to live here forever. It's raining. You're, it's always raining. What did I tell you about Seattle? It's always raining. Relax. It's okay. Hey, kitty cat. What are you looking for? Also, don't tie stuff on your cat's tail, by the way. That's not a thing you should do. Want some milk? Hi, barista. Yes, I love some milk. Uh, hello. Hi. Holy. You look like you've just seen a ghost. Uh, no. I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's been a while since the last time I saw Neko Mimi <laughs> trans transforming. We really do that in public. I would do it all the time. <laughs> I would be doing it all of the time. I guess you don't have that many Neko Mimi friends. Is that how I say it? Because it sounds like I'm saying it wrong. I won't say I have. You folks usually use your feline form to commute, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. Well, commuting as a cat sounds more practical than commuting as a hum- I mean, than commuting in a bipedal form. Kind of. Anyway, before we continue, can I have my milk, please? Uh, I'm sorry. What kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff or anything? Nope, milk and nothing else. Okay, I actually would like to know if you are if you do know the answer. Do you have to do all three? Do I have to do three milks or is it just one milk and I brew it? Which is weird to say that I would brew the milk, but I'm in love with her. <laughs> I am 100% in love with her. All three. Okay, I assumed you have to do all three. That was just cuz then it lights up green. I just wanted to know before I try to click brew on only one ingredient and I, I ruin it and then it, she doesn't want to date me and she doesn't fall in love with me. Fresh milk for the lady with the pretty smile. I really am in, in flirting with her. Thank you. Are you hitting on? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. I was just giving her a compliment. I don't know how old, how old is she? Thank you for the compliment. How does she know how old she is? It's really good. You're welcome. I'm so confused. <laughs> What's a girl like you doing alone this late? I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown up who can take care of herself. I need to know how old you are, ma'am, actually. I feel like you shouldn't be here. What? I'm 18. Oh. That's exactly what I'd call too young. Well, I'm not an old lady like you, for sure. Besides, I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old. I hate her. <laughs> if she was 30, I'd be so into her. And now that I know she's 18, I actually dislike her. <laughs> so I'm definitely not a kid anymore. That's how she talks, by the way, now. It changed my mind completely about her. How? I'm sure you know. 
Uh, I don't. Oh my, are you? Just say it. If this is something illegal, or if you are in danger, blink twice. Really? With a cute face like mine? Exactly. Seriously, you've never seen me on TV or on social media? She's getting worse and worse. She is progressively getting worse. I don't want to sound like a snob, but I don't watch mainstream media. Pfft, snob? Part of the broke but woke movement, I see? You must be the broke part. <laughs> I don't see you ordering any drinks. What, too broke for a cup of coffee? Holy shit, <laughs> oh my god. She's not that great for business, no. Oh, really? She orders something every time, that's not true. Sometimes I wonder, could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? <laughs> Make your order. Is this some kind of maid cafe experiment or something? So what do you want to order? The usual. I am just so glad I know how to do that. I'm so good at espresso. More people should order espresso. Your espresso is ready. I would prefer her to actually switch back to a cat. That'd be fun. That'd be cool. Hmm, as good as usual. Glad you liked it. Wait a minute. You do look familiar. Are you in a pop group? Are you Rachel Florencia? The member of Super Smiles who just graduated and started her solo career? Uh-huh. But you're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. <laughs> That brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Drinking milk. It, are you? <laughs> I'm serious. But you can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink my milk. How come this coffee shop attracts so many weird people? Well, while we do have a lot of unusual customers, this is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit. To drink milk, no less. <laughs> Achievement unlocked! No, seriously, why are you here? Well, you know, the usual young folks problem. That's red flag. Young folks don't say young folks. Who wrote her dialogue? They're not a young folk. I had a fight with my father. And so here I am, uh, I see. And is it okay for a celebrity like you to be out this late? You don't need to worry about me. I can turn into a cat. <laughs> Okay, now I'm really worried. Anyway, what happened? My dad, we got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. He always saw my profession as something negative. But I'm in love with what I'm doing. What about your mother? What are her thoughts on your career choice? She passed away a few years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. I'm not going to do the fun voice anymore. <laughs> Your dad know anything about the entertainment industry? He used to work in showbiz dec decades ago. So yeah, he does know a thing or two. More customers? It's a busy day today. Good evening, Shelby. Good evening, girls I've never met before. I just saw you yesterday. Just kidding, Freya. Anyway, Shelby. Yes, officer? I need something for my sore throat. Can you get a brother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? Green tea, lemon, honey. Yes, sir. Yes, I can. Your special drink is ready. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It's my special cough syrup. What do you call it? Uh, cough syrup? <laughs> of course you do. Let's see whether this drink tastes as good as it smells. It is just green tea. <laughs> it is just regular green tea. Damn. This is great. How's your day going? Anything out of the ordinary on your patrol? Yeah. Anything interesting today? Actually, I witnessed something scary on my shift today. Tell me, tell me! You sure you want to hear it? Yes? The scary thing I witnessed was... My salary. Seriously? Yeah, today's payday. And I checked the ATM during my shift. Such a horrible sight. 
Other than that, and the labor union protest, everything is fine though. How can you say it's fine? We got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. Ain't that strong proof that this area is safe? Hey. Yeah, I was surprised they were here the whole time. Thank you for the drink and the place to sit. I'm going back now. Okay, thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed your time. Uh-huh. They didn't need to tell me they were leaving. Because they could have just done that. But that's okay. Who the hell was that? <laughs> so she just sat there in red? I'm pretty sure that's normal in a coffee shop. I mean, you always do that when you're here. I guess you're right. Anyway, where were we? We're smoking around the 18-year-old, too. Oh, yes. What are you doing here, young lady? It's pretty late, you know. I don't have anywhere else to go. And this place looked cozy. I see. So you basically wanted to go to a bar, but you're underage, right? How did you know? You can read minds now, old man? I have a daughter around her age. It's easy to translate what they say. Especially when you have to deal with them every day. I don't know why you're here, but everything's gonna be okay. You can forget all of your problems while you're here. Dude, you're a cop. It's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He's a cop. That's exactly his job. Relax, Freya, don't be so uptight. Yeah, Mr. Policeman here made me feel much safer already. You know it yourself, Freya, this place is very safe. Right, Officer Georgie? Of course, this is the safest place around here. Hey, that endorsement comes with a discount, right? <laughs> oh, did I delete an extra letter in my title? Coffee. Oops. Coffee. There are two E's. I fixed it. <laughs> um. Don't look at me that way. You're a cop, old man. Act like one. I deal with crimes and public safety. How should I know how to handle someone else's daughter? You should know! You're a father yourself! Oh! I didn't know he had Twitter open. I have a phone <laughs> with Twitter on it. Right. Guys. You know I can hear you, right? Really? See, Freya? She has good hearing. She's a cat! That should help her protect herself. Anyway, miss. Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I've told the others, I had a fight with my dad. Uh, why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. I fought a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we become closer as a family. Huh? Because when things have calmed down, I learned something about them and they learn something about me. As long as we don't leave things unresolved, an argument makes things better. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one among countless others. He wasn't like this before, before it happened. You mean before your solo career? No, before mom passed away. What happens after each fight? Hmm, nothing. We just don't talk about it until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't easy. But you gotta understand each other better. As much as I hate to admit it, conflict is always the best way to know someone. Even your own blood. That's why it's a red flag when you hear about people that are like, I, we never, I've never fought. We're lying. Even a little bit. But it was never this bad when mom was around. She's the only one who understood me. And she also understood your father. Maybe he and your mom also had arguments. But your mom acted as a mediator between the two of you. That's possible. Now that mom's gone, I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. And your dad, he lost his best negotiator. Wait a second. You said this has happened a lot? But why did you run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait. Maybe it's because I'm the one who always ran away. Using my job as an excuse. I can confirm that. Yeah, I run here a lot. But yeah, I hate to tell you again. You both gotta resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous. In any relationship. I kinda understand what you're going through, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? This never happens, by the way. <laughs> In any coffee shop ever, this is not what happens there. I am. When and how did it happen? 
To be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. Maybe I should run even farther. I mean, I have my own income. I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I'm an adult. No, you're not. <laughs> no adult would ever say, I'm an adult! Just give yourself time to think, Miss Rachel, and try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this. Like adults, you don't need to rush to a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But now... Now I would recommend you just go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride. But you don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least knowing you're safe at home will give him some peace. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. You're right. You really are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So where do you live, Miss Rachel? In the western part of Neko Town. Oh, that's quite far. You're a cop! You're still gonna drive me home, right? You, boy, you better, you, you better drive her home. Old man, of course I will. Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? 100% sure. Okay, we'll be off then. Thank you, Shelby and Freya. Take care on your way home. See you around, Shelby. That whole thing was not what I expected. <laughs> None of that went the way that I thought as soon as the cat came in. Wow. Uh, and there they went. Yes. You can stay longer if you want. Nah, it's fine. I also have to call it a day. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. I'm juggling a lot of work, though. Barely made my deadlines. I don't know if I can keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? Tell your boss about the publishing offer. Who knows, maybe she'll understand. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go take a vacation and finish up your novel. In your dreams! I'm not exactly employee of the month. You never know. You never know, I might end up on the chopping block. Oh, the pressure. I'm sure about one thing, though. This coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So, yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. The door is always open for you. I bet it is. Okay, then, take care. Be careful on your way home. Cool. Yeah, I like Freya. Freya's cool. Lemony snippet. Have you ever eaten a honeycomb? I don't know that it looks like it would be good or not. I can't tell. The crunch sounds like I might have a good time with that, but um, I don't know about the whole rest of it, though. Not sure. Not sure. Horrible business model. What, the only being open at night? A coffee shop that's only open at night? Werewolf activist imprisoned for owning a legal fury sedative. The Orkish Workers Union in talks with government over their pleas. Rap group Street Orchestra questioned over their pro-eco-terrorism lyrics. Eco-terrorism. <laughs> okay. I don't know if any of that is like a little bit of the background story unfolding. It has become relevant in the conversations. Um, like the zombie thing. So I want to read them every time. Good evening, Mr. Hyde. Oh, I do call him Mr. Hyde. I call them all formal, I guess. Evening. Are you by yourself tonight, sir? Gala is coming after his shift. Hmm. It's pretty empty in here. You're their first customer tonight. <laughs> is there something wrong? Nothing. It's just a bit strange that you say our. When obviously there's only you here. Oh, I guess it's just me. But when I'm working, I always put myself as the barista and the coffee shop. I see. Anyway, I need to order something. What do you want to drink? Hmm. Do you have any blood? Hmm. Sorry, but we don't. Come on, did you think I was serious? Oh. Nah, give me a ginger green tea. Make sure it's very warm and bitter. Okay, we're gonna get green tea. He didn't say latte, though. Oh, coffee, cough syrup. Green tea would be milk. But he wants green tea with ginger. Is that what he said? Make it bitter. I feel like I, would I still put milk in that, though? Or too ginger. Is ginger bitter? Oh my god, is ginger bitter? Oh. 
I mean, I, yeah, coffee's bitter, but he wants green tea. So our base is green tea. And then these are the things we can add after. Ginger is spicy. <laughs> Ginger's not spicy. This is why I can never tell. The bitter bar goes up. Oh! Wait. Oh, well. Cool, okay, I see now. That's pretty cool. The bitter bar. I didn't notice the bitter bar. The extra bitter. I Ginger's bitter? Oh, I know that I have the problem of not really knowing when something's bitter or sour, but it's always wild when I find a new food that the whole time I was supposed to know that it's a bitter type of food, and I didn't know that one. I didn't know that one. Right, bitter doesn't seem like the right kind of word for it, right? Yeah? Star? Yeah? Come here. It's almost dinner time. It's not quite dinner time. But she's crying from the living room. Star! Did you just wake up and got confused because you were alone in a different room and didn't know where I was? Is that why you're screaming? Come here. Good morning. From the neck in the sun. Oh my goodness. She's got 20 minutes to wait. There's a difference between bitter and sour? I think, but I don't know how to tell because my taste buds are all messed up. I ate one too many warheads as a kid and they're ruined now. I big disagree on the ginger being spicy. What were you talking about? Spicy? That's not correct. Spicy? Spicy. I'm gonna try and grab her. I'm trying not to scare her though. Goodness. Oh my stars, oh my stars, oh my stars. Can you take this? Thank you. Everyone go give your cats a hug for me. She hasn't bit me yet. <laughs> She's just kind of sitting. But not looking at me. She hates eye contact. You got stuff on your feet. You got stuff everywhere. You got stuff on me now. Why are you covered in stuff? Ma'am. Do you see her lips? Oh my god, is her tongue out? <laughs> you down. Goodbye. <laughs> that's my little, that's my, my moon and my stars. Your drink is ready. Good. <laughs> Glad you liked it. By the way, if you don't mind my asking, ask away. You said you're here for work? Yes, for a couple of weeks. You're not in the medical industry like Mr. Gala, are you? Hell no. I could never imagine myself doing something so... What's the word? As honorable as that. What do you do? Are you a criminal? <gasps> Criminals come in here sometimes. Are you dealing with something I shouldn't ask about? I'm not a criminal! <laughs> in case that's what you had in mind. I mean, it's not an evil job, per se. But definitely not as honorable as working in a hospital. Then what is it? Guess. You travel a lot? More or less. You befriended a startup founder, so I assume you either have your own startup. I'm trying to like pick the cat hair off my face because now it's everywhere. Uh, or you work in some kind of an investment agency. I used to, but not anymore. That startup founder, he's just a friend. Then what do you do? I had many career paths in my life. They got boring after a while. So right now, I'm a model. I didn't expect that. I actually did expect that because it was in my phone. Already. But you have the looks and the figure. 
You didn't need to say that. <laughs> so I guess it makes sense. You want to know a secret? Sure. Those ads for anti-aging skincare products? No way. Vampire models. Uh, we are naturally good looking. Skin paler than an elf's. But we don't have those annoyingly pointy ears. Which makes us basically a bunch of good looking living mannequins. How better to advertise anti-aging products than with people who naturally don't age? That's cheating. Isn't that false advertising? Don't be naive. Truth is a matter of circumstance and perspective. Advertising is just framing the truth. I never thought of it that way. I don't think it that is... I don't think I would... I don't agree. <laughs> How long have you been modeling? Oh, not long. Not much more than 30 years. Wow. Good evening! Can you please be a little quieter? There's another customer here. Act like a civilized person, if you can. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to make this place a little li livelier. You don't mind, right, sir? No, I don't mind. I'm pretty sure I saw you last time I was here. You bet. You could say I'm a regular here. Hence the attitude. Hey. You look very happy. Any special occasion? Nah, nothing. This is my default state. She only has two states. Either extreme excitement or super stressed. Stop putting me in a bad light. Anyway, what were you two talking about? We were talking about Mr. Hyde's profession. And what is your profession, dear sir? I'm a model. And he's been doing it for 30 years. Holy shit, 30 years of modeling? That's a long time. Not for me. How old are you, may I ask? <laughs> My current liaison in the clothing brand I work with is the daughter of the guy I worked with when I started modeling. Usually I work until it's the grandchild. That's really cool. I'm Freya, by the way. Nice to meet you, Freya. How's the writing so far? It's okay. But I'm stuck in, in need of a warm drink. Also, I think I can't have my headcanon of being a vampire anymore because I don't even have blood in store. <sighs> and what would I be drinking then? So, brew me something, please. Coffee? Nah, I need to take it slow tonight. Make me something warm and sweet without coffee. Green tea tea. I'm gonna give her cocoa powder. Chocolate with milk and honey. Oh. That's fine. <laughs> I can be a witch! I wanna be a witch! That settled. Um. I'll give you a little latte art. I'll give you a little bonus latte art. Oh, that's not how you do a heart. Uh... Okay, this is how we look at work, everybody. This is how we uh, show up to our job. We're a witch barista. I do have this within arm's reach at all times from my desk. Um, anything wrong? It's not bad, but it's not warm or sweet enough. What do you mean it's not warm? It's hot chocolate. But don't worry about it. All right. I knew that when the sweet bar wasn't all the way up that I had a problem, but... I don't know. It said cool and bitter. Why was it cold? It was hot chocolate. Warm, what? But why? It's hot chocolate. Why was it cold? So you're a writer? Yeah, I work for the Evening Whispers, but I'm also working on my novel right now. Sounds interesting. What kind of novel are you writing? Uh, it's complicated. You should wait until she finishes it. Yeah, no spoilers. That's if she ever manages to finish it. Yeah, that too. Oh, so putting milk in it made it too cold. I'm sorry. I don't know why I put milk in there. It's hot chocolate. What do you what do you want it with water? Nobody likes it better with water. What's the genre? Slice of life. So not fantasy or sci-fi? This is a trick. 
if if fantasy is normal in this world like what well, our fantasy is they're normal like like vampires and elves isn't fantasy for them because that's normal what does he consider fantasy hmm hmm i'm still not sure probably it'll be normal slice of life what is the what is their fantasy what would their fantasy even mean aliens maybe but maybe they do have aliens You'll have tough competition. You're not wrong. I'll probably put some surreal elements in there. Maybe I'll set it in a world where only humans exist. Sounds a bit racist. That's the twist. This isn't about racial supremacy. I imagine even in a world where only one race exists, problems will still appear anyway. Discrimination and racism will still happen. Yup. How can they be racist without other races? Uh, differences in language, nationality, ideology, or even skin color. When everything's the same, the smallest differences will stand out. Perhaps it's diversity that can teach us to look past the differences. The bottom line is we'll always find a way to hate others. I assure you of that. Real. That doesn't really sound all that funny. Hey, it's fantasy. That's what fiction's for, anyway. Painting the what-ifs. That's actually pretty interesting. I'll buy your book when it comes out. And I'll fly back here to have it signed. Aw, thank you. Are they flirting? I can't tell if they're flirting. I think that I might like them flirting. I think I'll like everyone flirting. <laughs> I think I'll want them to flirt. Oh! No one panic. No one freak out. Everyone just act cool. Everyone act cool and, and, and normal. Ma'am. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Good evening, Miss Lua. Hi there, how's it going? Great, thanks. Lua, please meet Hyde. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hyde. And Hyde, please meet Lua. Hi. Are you by yourself? Yeah, I just finished a meeting. I needed to an escape from my coworkers. So I decided to come here instead. Is Bailey's coming? Oh, he's not. Girl, if you ruined this? Okay, he's a freelancer, remember? He's free to do whatever he wants. Is everything okay? Doesn't look like it's okay. To be honest, we haven't talked much since the other day. Oh. We shall fix that with a warm drink then. Good idea, thanks. I'm in the mood for a green tea latte. I love when they order off the book. I can follow the rules and I like doing it correct. Is there a problem? No, it's nothing, sorry. Then a cup of green tea latte, please. What, what, what was that all about? What was that all about? What was that? I'm in the mood for green tea latte? I'm confused. I'm confused why that was confusing. Okay. What's this? Cough syrup. Okay, but we're doing green tea latte, which is green tea and two milk. How is that more warm with two milk? Why was the why was the hot chocolate with milk and honey cold? I brewed it. What do you mean it was cold? Okay, all right. I I don't I don't know <laughs> how all I what's <gasps> What would that do for me though to be spinning it? If I spin it really quick after I do something? Like what's what's the method here to um have a cool art? Spin it. I have a little swirly and then what's this do? I can kind of like drag it. Tie dye, tie dye latte art. I don't know how to do that part good. Green tea latte is ready. Thank you. I don't know why, but I was suddenly longing for a green tea latte. Like this drink feels really heartwarming. Call me pretentious, but I think drinks have the power to connect people's hearts. That's surprisingly deep for a cup of tea. By the way, about Bailey's. He... Has he visited this place again? After our last meeting? Not that I know of. He hasn't. Oh. I should apologize for the commotion we caused. Please don't worry about that. Who is this Bailey's person you keep mentioning? These people are getting too friendly. <laughs> How are we just talking about this all in front of each other? I love it though. I want to have a place like this. I want a nighttime coffee place. And I want to be a little witch serving the coffee. 
Um, hold on, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna fix. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, oh, I threw it too far away. I wanna fix my hair under the hat and then put the hat back on. I have a favorite artist that does all like little casual witch art where she's just like cooking in her kitchen and and doing her homework but she's wearing a witch hat and, and I, it's my favorite aesthetic of art of all time and I want to live like that like a, one of her drawings I can't wait for Halloween Halloween's gonna be awesome you know what I have three costumes potentially I have Daphne from Scooby-Doo and I have um Mehmet the witch Mehmet from Sailor Moon uh, and that's it actually I have two did I say three I was gonna have a third one I'm still thinking about it yeah with the ghost cats those are that's like some of my favorite favorite art who's this Bailey's person you keep mentioning Bailey's is or was I don't know my boyfriend we had a little fight a few days ago about what Hey, is it okay for him to just ask her like that? You tell me. Uh, dude, I'm just a customer. You're the one who owns this place. <laughs> it's an old problem. I'm a succubus and he's an elf. Hmm, the usual racial problems then. Yeah, he would know. He's it's he's a vampire with a best friend who's a werewolf. Quite maybe gay lover. Psst, show some manners, old man. What? I'm just following up on the questions you started. It's all right. Bailey's and I have different views on the importance of family. My family is pretty close and usually they're supportive. But when it comes on when it comes to dating an elf, they fear that I'll be treated like like a peasant. He's leaving his entire family to be able to date you. You don't have to worry about them. Bailey's on the other hand, he comes from a well-respected elven family. They can be cagey at times. I get it. But for whatever reason, he took his family for granted. It's not surprising. That his family would disagree with the relationship. You don't sound like most succubi I know. How's your boyfriend dealing with this? He said we should just keep going. Just the same as we've been for the last 10 years. 10 years! Woof! So you've been together for 10 years as a couple? And he's suggesting that both of you should just go on as usual? I mean, your relationship for the past 10 years, that was without familial approval, right? Well, yes. But I want our relationship to move forward. I want a family. Did he disagree with the idea of marrying you? No, quite the opposite. He wanted to marry me. What's the problem then? It's not that simple. Girl, you're the problem. You are the problem. His family will disown him? Yes. He wants to marry you even if he has to leave his family? Yes. Problem solved then. Why do you have to care so much about what his or your family thinks? Just marry him. Make a family of your own. Oh! <laughs> It's not that simple. I don't want to be held responsible if he regrets his decision one day. Abandoning, it's his decision though. You're not making him do it. Abandoning's, a, 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 abandoning one's family is not a solution. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it is. What if marrying me is a mistake? That's his decision. He's making the decision. He's okay with that risk. What if he regrets leaving his family? That's his problem. I can't take that kind of responsibility. It isn't yours. I can't let him make that sacrifice. It's not your decision. Lua, did you ever think about the risks when you started dating him? Yes. No, maybe a little bit. We didn't think it would get this far. Why did you start then? <laughs> From what I can see, you're the problem here. Ooh, you're pretty greedy for wanting it all. Him, family approval. If you're asking for racial re reconciliation, might as well ask for world peace. Old man, stop talking. No, no, let him cook. Let him cook. Lua, if I may ask, do you want to marry Bailey's? I love him. Of course I do. Even so, I can't let him leave his family for me. It's you don't let people. You don't let He's deciding it. You don't get to let or not let someone do something that they want to do. It would be selfish because I can't do the same for him. So you wouldn't do it if you don't get your family's approval? I love my family so much, no matter how messy they are. Well, that's difficult. So you're forcing your boyfriend 
to have the same life as you have. That blood is thicker than water mentality won't work here. Not every family is worth fighting for, you know. Some are. <laughs> Not his. Have you ever met Bailey's family? No. They always rejected the idea. Did he try to introduce you to them? He did. You can't have it all, lady. This is not a fairy tale. This is not a story where some fairy godmother will suddenly appear and grant your wishes. Look how tiny Freya is. This is how things go in real life. You have to take chances and make sacrifices. And you choose which one is best for you. Pretty simple. I... I'm sorry, I have to leave. I hate to be the girl who always runs away, but thank you for the advice. Take care on your way, Miss Lua. I will. Bye. She's got to figure it out, because he's got to figure it out. He's not even wavering. He's like, I don't care about my family. I don't care about not even living forever anymore if I get to do it with you. But you agree with me, don't you? Well... You didn't have to say it so harshly, you know. What are you doing here by yourself anyway? Trying to pick a fight with everyone? I'm waiting for a friend. Gala? I do want to do the extras. Okay, I want to do the extras. Maybe then we don't do the whole game today because I don't want to, I don't think I want to do six hours. So maybe we do three hours and it's a two part thing. I at least want to do the extras. I don't need to be completionist, but it sounds like I'm going to want to do the extras. Oh, there he is. I am in love with them together. Them together, is, um, I like it. Good evening, everyone. Hey, Gala. How are you doing, Freya? I'm fine. But your friend here is one hell of a troublemaker. What did you do this time, Hyde? Stated facts. <laughs> Harshly. To someone that needed it. I think that Hyde is right. I think Hyde is right. But not the way you said it. Let me order a drink first. Then you folks tell me about what happened. What are you having this evening, sir? Do you remember my fury remedy? I mentioned it a couple of days ago. The one with ginger and caffeine? Yes. Can you help me try to figure out what it is? Sure, should I try mixing the ginger with tea? Yes. Tea, ginger, and I'm still not sure what the last one might be. Okay, I'll try experimenting with it. You'll know when you get it right. Okay, so he wants tea with ginger. And we have to figure out what the last thing could be. Let's give him... Um, what's the... I don't want to give him cough syrup. What was that one? Green tea, lemon, and honey. I'm going to give... Well, he's getting ginger and lemon. How about... Let's try that. Sure. We'll have to try everything eventually until we get it. I'm guessing by the achievement here that says serve the wrong drink for the first time <laughs> means I didn't get it right. Here's your drink, sir. Hmm. I'm 100% sure this is not the remedy I would need. Let me try brewing another one. It's okay. He said tea and ginger. Well, I have to, he said I have to experiment with it. I didn't expect to get it right the first time. I'm more interested in the story anyway. So tell me what happened. She's a better storyteller than me. All right, so there's this girl. We were there. We don't have to hear it. <laughs> and that's about it. Hide. Oh, hide. You never change, do you? Am, am I the only one who's like, he did nothing wrong? You're going to look at him and tell him that he's wrong? I don't think he was wrong. Plus, um, I you could say it was a little bit harsh, but also he doesn't personally know that person, and I don't know that you're not owed harshness or, or not not owed har or wait. Well, I mean, you're not owed whatever the opposite of harshness is. <laughs> he did nothing wrong. Both of you are gonna judge me for being honest now, dude. Honesty is good and all, but you know, try not to be a dick. I don't think he was a dick. I don't agree, and I'm glad you guys also don't agree. Uh. Listen to her, Hyde. She's got a good point. Ugh, not you two. I was a bit surprised, though. Usually you don't bother with this kind of thing. I've seen you actively avoid it. You do know me. We've been friends for years. And more. 
maybe. Yeah, of course. I don't know why I got involved in that discussion. He's getting gaslit. He did nothing wrong. <laughs> I guess the vibe in this place has seeped into me. I understand. This place does have that special magic. Not exactly a good magic. Oh my god, oh my god. It, it, it's because I'm a witch. It's because this is magic coffee and it's because I'm a witch barista. And headcanon, it literally is magic. Judging from the re reaction I received today, you may be right, but there are better ways to say what you have in mind. Anyway, I've gotta go. So soon? It's past midnight. I need to get some sleep. Take care on your way, Freya. Sleep tight. See you guys. I have magic coffee. Okay, this is better than vampire, actually. I like this. Why are you staring at me like that? Nothing. What did you want to talk about when you told me to meet you here? I was just bored. And that's the surest way to make you come out. Seriously? I thought the story from Freya was enough. To fill your daily dose of interaction. Well, it was something indeed. You said something about being my friend for years? Yes, why? Do you ever wonder what it would be like if we hadn't met? Yeah, how is, how is he not? How is he thinking that Hyde did anything wrong when they're a werewolf and a vampire who are friends? And there has been bad blood between those two races in this world. How is he gonna look at Hyde and be like, don't, don't, what, you, you were a dick for telling them to, to, yeah. I just don't agree. He wasn't a dick. What do you mean? <laughs> Forget it. It's late anyway. Oh, I want him to meet the cat girl. Just because it's funny that cats like him or don't like him. And I think that it would be a funny interaction. I need to get back. Huh? All right, Shelby. He just got here. You asked him to come out and he just got here and you're leaving. All right, Shelby. Thanks for the evening. Pleasure was mine. Bye. Well, I guess that was his daily dose of interaction. Also... What was that? You know him better than I do, Mr. Gala. Care for another drink to end the day? Sure. Oh, I thought I was gonna get another shot at making the drink, but I do not. Bitter heart, shadows will help you try to hide. This, this is heavy. Some of this might, I don't know how heavy this gets either. Just a warning, I don't know. Yeah, I think they're gay. <laughs> I think so for sure. Atlantic countries plead for land folk to send help instead of trash. Opinion, who watches the Watchmen in Seattle? Cats are the best creatures on earth, research has proven. Ooh, agreed. Yep. Big agree. I have a black cat. I am a witch barista. Welcome. Oh. Huh. Welcome. Hello there. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Uh, the usual earthling linguistic problem. We will never get used to it. <laughs> um, is it okay if I call you sir? Definitely. You can call us whatever you like. We do not mind a bit. Do you want to order anything, sir? Oh yes, we have to communicate our order. Please pardon us. Hmm. What do you recommend? We will not be able to taste the difference anyway. What do you mean? It is all right. Forget it. What is the most expensive drink here? Everything's the same price in this coffee shop. <laughs> really? That is interesting. Unlike other places we have visited so far. Have you decided on what to order then? Okay, we would like to order anything. Anything? Anything. I want to make one from the book because I feel like it. I want to make a cappuccino. Coffee, coffee, milk. That's a fun classic earthling drink for you. Who doesn't love a cappuccino? Do you put, ooh, ooh, yeah, let's do, um, uh, I still don't know how to do this. So, invert. Can I, like, do something with it? And then if I just do squiggles in here. Nope, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I just should give up on doing that. Your drink is ready, sir. I hope it's to your liking. 
Don't worry, it will not matter to us. Okay, let us drink this. Oh. <laughs> what is this? What kind of creature are you? Shell. Oh, I almost just read my name. Um, yes. Oh, nothing. Okay. Um, excuse me, sir. Yes? Why did you put your finger in the drink? That is a very strange question. We are drinking it, of course. Drinking it? Yes, drinking it. Oh, yes, of course. We almost forgot. Earthlings use their speaking organ to drink. We use our appendages to drink. You also are wearing a suit, though. Usually a polypropylene drinking apparatus is provided for us to use. Pardon? It is what you call plastic in the shape of a long tubular stick. You mean a straw? Yes! We wonder why Earthlings rely on it so much. Mostly you can drink without it. Yet the plastic stick apparatus was provided on 87.76% of all drinking occasions we encountered. And it has become one of the biggest single-use pollutants on our on your planet. Anyway, how do you drink with a straw? The same as we just did. But thanks to the plastic stick apparatus, we do not need to put our appendages into the liquid mixture you call drinks. It is very convenient. Perhaps convenience takes higher priority in Earthlings' decision-making processes. Oh, <laughs> we're getting called out. I see. I guess people won't suspect a thing if you put your hands on a straw. Affirmative. By the way, you said, oh, who said something about aliens? I think there are aliens. Uh, so I don't know if that's fantasy in this world either. You said you just arrived? Where did you come from, sir? Far. It would be too complicated to tell you all the details. But we can tell you one thing. We have a mission here. A mission? Yes. What kind of mission? Find what Earthlings call a female. And then? Breed. I'm not letting them know. I'm not a woman. Nope, never been a woman in my life. So you came from a faraway place to find a date? <laughs> date? Our mission does not have anything to do with your understanding of time. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about that kind of date. Oh, pardon us. But no, our mission does also does not have anything to do with fruits. Oh, I wasn't talking about that kind of date either. Oh, pardon us again. Your language is extremely confusing sometimes. Don't worry about it. We also struggle with our own languages. Earthlings rely, oh, Earthlings really need to work on their communication. Real. There are so many ways to communicate, to make communication more direct and simple. Oh my God, agreed. Of all the places we have been to, this place has the worst communication methods. Can't argue with that. So how's the mission so far? Not good. Oh, did he do this? <laughs> we are using this unique communication, applica communication application. According to our data, it is the biggest source of breeding interaction on Earth. Although the success rate of the breeding is not as high as the interaction. Huh? I never heard about it. Wait, are you talking about a dating app? Their system used a fire symbol as their sign. You are talking about a dating app. But again, we found some contradictions in the application. What do you mean? According to our understanding of the application, it requires one person that interacts with it to swipe left or right. If you swipe left, it means you do not want to breed. If, uh, if you swipe right, it means you do want to breed. And when two interactees swipe right between each other, they commence the introduction to the breeding process. It didn't go well, I assume. It's because you said I'd like to breed as your first message, and that just never works. Most of them started communicating with very big letters on the communication platform, and they said some words that cannot be considered proper. You are talking about breeding, sir. I don't know what to say about that, but you said most of them. Some of them actually did not get mad? Oh, some of them are laughing with text. Did you get to meet them? We set up meetings. Many of them did not appear, <laughs> but some did. I have never in my life experienced that or heard of that happening to someone I know, of someone just not showing up. That is so rude if you do that. So rude. Some, but some did. 
Yes, but we got confused with the way they communicate. No outcome from the meetings. Even though we decided to go to various recommended places, according to our database. And this coffee shop happens to be one of the recommended places? Yes. Interesting. Oh my god, Freya's gonna be so mad she wasn't here for this. <gasps> Freya's gonna be pissed! There. Then you're here to meet someone? Uh-oh. It better not be... Yes, but she should have arrived some time ago. Maybe each Earthling ha also has different interpretations of time. You're right about that. Oh, <gasps> no way. No way. Good evening, miss. Evening. Would you like to order something? Cafe latte, please. Okay, maybe you're just here on your own. I'd like to get to know her. Cafe latte. Um, coffee? Milk? Milk. Boop. And I don't, I don't know. If I just hold it for like a really long time and then like, how do you, isn't, don't think I like kind of do one of these. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Am I doing it? And then whoop. Okay, all right. And then if I go whoop up the middle, that's the best one yet. It's not good, but it's definitely the best one yet. Oh, I'm proud of that. Your order is ready, miss. Thank you. Oh, and there it goes. <laughs> and there it goes. How is it? Good. Glad you like it. Are you here to read again, miss? Yeah, you know the drill. Please enjoy your time. <laughs> oh, he's looking. Can I help you with something? Oh, nothing. Pardon us. Okay. <laughs> Um, um, excuse us. Yes? Are you waiting for someone? Not this again. No, I'm not waiting for anyone. Are you sure? Yes! I'm sure I'm not waiting for anyone. Because we are waiting for someone from this app. And she is an orc, just like you. Look here. First, I'm not the only female orc on Earth. Heck, I'm not even a pure orc. But is your name Yur Yuruk Hi 69? <laughs> oh my god. Is this guy sane? No. <laughs> Between you and me? Please pardon them, miss. I don't think they're from around here. So, you have not answered our question. Are you Yurukai69? No, my name is Myrtle, and I never use, am I saying it right, is this a thing? You're, you're, what was the Lord of the Rings reference? Which one was the Lord of the Rings reference? Maybe it's obvious and I didn't notice. Um. Oh, you really are not her. Do they, did you look at the pictures? Um. Of course I'm not. Seriously, men nowadays. If you're that desperate to find a date, why don't you ask your friends or go to a club or something? But we do not have any friends on earth. Hey, when you said he's not from around here, are you saying he's not from earth? Well, from what I've gathered up to now, they're not from this planet. Man, has this never happened before? Does this happen? Do we know about aliens in this world? This is not a big deal, or it is, I can't tell. Pardon us for interrupting, but when you said club, which activities are you talking about? According to the search result, there are just too many clubs on Earth. Some of them look pretty interesting, like this club about space exploration. They call themselves Trekkies. <laughs> Oh, Yurukai. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but that's a breed of orcs uh, that Saruman experimented on. Okay, I don't know if I would remember that from... I don't know that they mentioned that in the movies or not. I never read the books. <laughs> Forget everything I said. What time were you supposed to meet this female orc? 
about an hour ago, according to the local time. Aww. She's bailing on you, man. What does that mean? It means big chance she's not coming. You got stood up. I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. She's probably right, sir. Aw, have you tried contacting her? We have. She read it according to the application. Did she reply? No. Ouch. If she didn't reply, I'm 100% sure she bailed. She's not coming. I believe Miss Myrtle here is right. Hmm. That was... We are a pretty objective people, but somehow Earth's vagueness has taught us a new kind of feeling. I'm only not sad because I just can't help but think that he probably talked a little too much about breeding in the first messages. <laughs> this has happened before? Many times. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but it might be a sign you need to change your strategy. There you go. Earthlings use strategies to breed? Uh, the, the, mo the most complicated strategies, in fact. <laughs> your kind never cease to amaze us. If that's the case, then we do not need to be here anymore. You can stay if you like. Oh, it's okay. We need to report back immediately. But we will visit this place again in the future. I don't know that I want that to happen. <laughs> I don't know that the, I don't know. You have a very nice place, owner. Please just call me Shelby. Thank you for your time, Shelby. And thank you for your input also, Miss Myrtle. We will definitely study the breeding strategies of Earth. You should definitely study it more and not try to participate ever again. It's called norm, by the way. The uh, breeding norms. Although I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't correct him on the worst of strategy instead of norm. I would have corrected him on the breeding part, but that's okay. You can also use strategy as the keyword. We will keep that in mind. Okay then, we are off. Take care on your way. They're always gone so fast, I don't even get to say goodbye. I was about to say even orc sits down. Whoa, boy. Who the hell was that? Oh, she's going to be so mad. Oh, hi there, Freya. What is an astronaut doing in this coffee shop? Drinking and wait. Well, I can tell her about it and then she can write about it. She won't be that mad. Drinking and waiting for their friend, apparently. I better tell her the whole story because she will be mad if I don't. What kind of friend? Laika, the dog. That's the first. Um, Laika is the first living creature to have ever been sent into space. She was a dog, she was a stray, they picked her up, they put her in a rocket ship, uh, they treated her real nice, and then they put her in a rocket ship and they sent her into space knowing she would never come home, and then she burnt up in the atmosphere. And there are several songs written about Laika, um, and we love Laika. Laika did a great thing, we learned a lot though, from Laika doing this. <laughs> a date from, you should look her up actually. It's a, it's a good, good interesting read. A date from a dating app. I should have been here. What does their date look like? The date didn't show up. Ouch. I didn't even tell him that it's an alien. This is not an astronaut. This is an alien. Poor astronaut. Why didn't they remove the astronaut suit before going on a date? I mean, showing off your job is pretty common. But it doesn't have to be that literal, you know. I don't think they're an astronaut. Not in the usual sense. Uh, what do you mean? They might be an alien. Alien? Like Englishman in New York alien or alien alien? Alien alien. Outer space? Probably. Or other dimensions. I don't know. Wow. Like, super wow. I mean, I know you get a lot of different visitors here, but wow. So we know aliens exist. That you just don't see them that often. But it's not like a... This is not the first time we've heard about it ever happening. Life is never boring here. That's why I'm writing about it. Oh yeah, how's it going so far? The writing? Yes, the writing. With capital T and W. It's going pretty well, actually. Nice. May I see it? Uh. No. I did some and then I threw it all away again. What do you mean? <laughs> Can I read the draft you've written so far? No. Please don't. Why? It's not good enough. Hey, be more confident in your work. You know you're a good writer. Besides, if you're not that confident with it, maybe I can share some feedback. You're right. I actually have prepared a printout. Do you think, okay, 
How is an alien not common in this world? So I think aliens exist and we've known that in this fantasy world, but um, I bet that they don't come around often because I, I think that this world is probably exactly the same as our world, except there are elves and orcs and succubi um, and aliens. And if there were aliens in this world that would occasionally visit, do you think they'd want to come here that much? Do you think they'd be like that excited to go? That's like, that's like the equivalent of going to Florida. <laughs> Do you think they would pick to go if they had it as an option? No one chooses to go to Florida. No one wants to go there. I actually have, I'm sorry, I don't like Florida. I actually have prepared a printout of the draft. So you were planning to show it all along. I wasn't sure about it. It's the first presentable draft anyway. Come on, I know the drill. And I'm pretty familiar with your stuff. Earth is the Florida of the galaxy. That's what I was trying to say, and uh, thank you. <laughs> all right, all right, let me get it out of my bag. Be honest with your feedback. I will. Now will you hand it over? Um, it's okay, Freya. Here it is. Thank you. Now, let's see. I, they, I have seen a scene like this in some movies before where like you are handed a novel and they go away to read it. Like maybe two or three different movies I've seen have had a scene like this. Who's leaving and reading a whole book really quick? Who? How many hours did I just leave for? <laughs> How long is it? It's a novel. So who? It always felt so unrealistic because I was like, are you really just having them go read the whole book and then wait till they're done and then they come back? I've seen it too many times where I'm like, I just don't believe that this is happening. And they show the book that they're reading and it's like a thick stack. And it's like, you can't just go and read that for the whole thing and come back in a few hours. How was it? How was it? Let me read it at my own pace, okay? Oh, see, I'm not, this is, this is weird to do in front of you, I think. What's wrong? Is it that bad? The main character, oh my, is the character badly written? I don't think the character suits my personality. That's because you're not the inspiration. Too bad. You have a prime example standing in front of you every day. Prime example? You? You're like the most mysterious person I've ever met. It's because I'm a witch. We're kind of cool. Wait, I think someone's coming. Hey, the draft. I'm not done yet. <gasps> oh my god, I love her. Welcome, would you like to drink here or take away, miss? Here, please. What would you like? I just hated the squish when she came in, but I love her. Or maybe you'd like to sit down first before deciding? I'll order right away. No need to hurry, take your time. Hmm, is it okay if I order something a bit complicated? You can order whatever you like. There's only three ingredients allowed in every drink. <laughs> as long as we have the ingredients. If that's the case, do you know masala chai? The tea with spices? Yes. I'd like to order a masala chai, please. I don't know. I don't know. Do, is that in here? The tea with the spices? What do you mean? What do you mean? The tea? That's a spice. What? Two spices? Do you think two spices? Do you think that there's milk in it? Do you think more of the tea should be in it? Or more of the spices? Is ginger, ginger is a spice? Ginger and cinnamon go together. Let's try that. If we're talking multiple spices, is ginger in the spice category? I mean, it's not really a spice, it's a, what is it? A vegetable? What is a ginger? <laughs> is it a spice? I'm not talking anymore as confidently uh, after I said that bugs are not animals. However, I stand by what I said about them not having the same vibe. And when you say animals, I do not under any circumstances think of a bug. So, and I was a biology major. It sure has a similar smell. Let's give it a taste. Hmm, this is weird. I can sense the ingredients are correct. But it tastes different. If that's the case, I'd probably put the... Oh, did I do it in the wrong order? It was probably ginger and then cinnamon. 
because it's it's like primary, secondary, and, and some. If that's the case, I probably put the wrong quantities of ingredients in. Which one did you prioritize, ginger or cinnamon? Cinnamon. Ah, that's the key. Ginger should have been the primary one. Do you want me to fix the drink for you? It's okay, thank you. I didn't realize those were, I only realized it like the last time I made a drink, but I wasn't sure. Oh, what? Oh, was she here the whole time? Yeah, she was. Where were we? The main character. The character feels very you. You bet. If the readers know me, they'll notice right away. Is that okay? Sure, why not? It sounds so narcissistic. Don't worry about it. They won't notice it unless they know me personally. And having the main character think like me makes it easier to write. I only know how to make a character be a little me, a little bit of me. If you say so. Er, sorry. Hmm? I love her. <laughs> I don't, she's so cute and I love her little freckles and I love her glasses and her blue hair that also goes to purple. Did you say something? Yes, sorry for interrupting. Oh, she's so me. Are you a fiction writer? Yes, I am. That sounds so cool. Well, yeah, but I only write small scale fiction, short stories for the newspaper or nonfiction stories about people in this town. She's writing a novel right now. In fact, I was just reading the draft for it. Hey, wow, how many books have you written? Well, this would be the first if I finished it. Uh, I always wanted to be a fiction writer, but conjuring words is hard. I'm a writer, and even I can't use complex words like conjure like you just did. A lot of people have said that my vocabulary is uncommon. What do you do? What's your name again? Ah, pardon me, my name is Aqua. That is very, um, fitting. <laughs> Hi Aqua, I'm Freya. And the barista here is Shelby. Greetings, Miss Aqua. Nice to meet you. So yeah, what do you do? Um, I'm a researcher at the university. I also make games in my free time. Hey, that's even cooler than my job, you know. Thanks. You said you can't write? But research papers need a lot of writing skills, right? Indeed. But it's descriptive writing, not narrative writing. Aqua Axolotl? Well, she's got tentacles, though, also. So I don't really know. <laughs> what kind of fields are you researching, by the way? I focus on computer graphics. Whoa, it involves a lot of calculations and boring stuff. Not something the media would cover, I guess. It wouldn't attract many readers. Oh my, I forgot you're a journalist. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Come on, you don't have to worry so much about everything. It's all right. Excuse me for interrupting. Yes? You said you're a researcher in computer graphics, right? That's right. Did you write a paper on the latest fluid rendering technique for 3D environments? I believe one of the contributors is also named Aqua. What are the odds? There's two fish ladies named Aqua. Probably high, actually. Oh my, yes, that's me. Did you read it? I did, it was pretty important for the project we're working on. Um, may I ask what kind of project that is? It's a video game series called, oh my God, I got so excited when I read Full Metal. I got, I got so excited when it when I read Full Metal. Full Metal Conflict. Are you kidding me? You work on FMC? Oops. I'm sorry. I got a bit too excited all of a sudden. <laughs> She's so me. When you get a little bit too loud and you're like, oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm yelling. Don't be. It's nice when you meet someone who likes the thing you worked on. I love that series so much. Is that supposed to be a Full Metal Alchemist reference? And they said Full Metal. Full Metal Conflict. <laughs> My name is Aqua, by the way, but you already knew that. My name is Myrtle. Or what do you do in the project? I'm one of the technical artists. Ah, uh, no wonder. Yeah, I don't want to intrude on your discussion any further, but could I ask for your business card or something? Me and my friends have something we want to discuss. We submitted queries. I don't know how to say that one out loud. I don't think I ever did before. Through your department's contact form, but we haven't received any replies. Oh yes, that happens a lot. The form sends the queer, stop making me read it, to another department, and sometimes it takes them a bit to respond. Pardon us for that. Of course, should I expect that? I don't have my card with me right now, but um, we can swap email addresses if you want. Sure. 
Here's my email. Yep, got it. This Full Metal Conflict series you two are talking about, is it the same series that's getting a movie adaption soon? I wish we had a movie. Is there a movie? There is a movie, I think, uh, but I didn't see it and I didn't hear it was very good for Full Metal. There is two. Isn't one of them really weird? I feel like I have heard of it vaguely, but yeah, that one. To be honest, I hated the idea of turning the game into a movie. Oh, it's a game, it's a game, it's a game. I forgot it's a game. So this is maybe not a Full Metal Alchemist reference. <laughs> Nonetheless, Hollywood. They have the budget for the flashy visuals, but I doubt they'll do the series justice. Why? Because some games tell their stories in a unique way, and some stories can only be told through, through this medium, and FMC is no exception to that. Interesting. Do you play video games? Well, not much. I usually play weird, obscure art games. The type of game you might see in an art gallery. You wouldn't... You wouldn't... What? I guess I know what... I guess I know what she means. Really? That's weird. You're not the first to say I'm weird. It's not that. Usually people that play arty games are gamers that got bored of the current state of video games. That's true. We're, we're all gamers in here? We're all gamer girls? This is a whole coffee shop full of gamer girls right now. But I believe art games cater to a whole different market. Compared to mainstream games, hence a lot of the players are not gamers, and they're more accessible to play, but harder to perceive. Understanding them requires a whole different level of many things. Yeah, sorry, I rambled on for too long, but at least that's what I think. Good point. Yeah, that was a really good perspective. I play those games thanks to people I hang out with. Yeah, you got that look of an artsy hipster, you know. Nailed it. So you understand my point about the adaption, right? Kinda. Anyway, I need to go back. I'll email you first thing tomorrow about our question. Wait, what time is it? Oh my, I also need to go home. We can walk to the bus stop together if you want. I was thinking that maybe they were flirting, but I didn't want to say it yet, just in case. I like it. I like it. I hope that doesn't bother you, Miss Myrtle. Just Myrtle is fine. And of course it won't bother me at all. Shall we go now? Sure. Thank you so much, Shelby. And you too, Miss Freya. Of course the people named Aqua and Myrtle would be <laughs> getting along. Good luck with the writing. You take care on your way, okay? Will do. See you around, folks. Please be careful on your way. Back. So, yes. That was a nice talk. But you haven't given me proper feedback for the drafts yet. And I could see that you were reading it on and off. Well, it's kinda good. Seriously? That's it? I'm not an editor. Did you expect me to have a list of notes for you? Yes. Really? You're mysterious, that much is true. But I've been a regular here for a while. I recognize the expressions you were making as you read it. You have a lot of comments, right? Admit it. Okay, you got me. But this won't be short. And it will be really honest about it. Well, the night is young. Bring it on. Okay. Let's start at the beginning. Are they gonna actually- No, I wanted to read what she would say! I wanted to know what she thought. Oh, the rain sounds actually tripped me out. I thought it was raining. <laughs> but also my air conditioner's on, so I heard like a little sound, like wind, but it was just my air and also the rain in the game and not in real life because the sun is very, very brightly shining outside. It did downpour like two days ago though, randomly. Uh, that happens sometimes here. For a little bit. Research found that most fury sedative on the market are not safe. Profile, Morris Lester from slum to glam. Pajama clad 27 year old actuary found decapitated on his own bed. Whoa. Do you want to order anything else? I'm good for now. I'll order again once I finish reading this. Okay then, I'll leave you with whatever that is. Is she mad at us? Is she mad at us? What did we say to her? What did, what did we want to know what she thought about it? I feel like you're mad at me. Are you mad at me? Is she mad at me? Oh man. She's mad at me. I knew the sound of that squish. I knew who that would be. Oh, Aqua, fancy seeing you so again so soon. Hi Freya. Hi Shelby. Good evening, Miss Aqua. How are you two doing? Same old. I'm good, how about you? I'm fine. Thank you, and you? 
Oops, I asked that already. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Is Myrtle here? So far, it's only me and Shelby. We have you with us now, of course. Are you meeting her here tonight? Oh, it's not that. I was just wondering whether she's coming here again tonight. You have her email, right? Yeah. Why don't you just tell her to come and meet you here now? That always works for me whenever I want to talk to someone. Oh yeah, they're in love. They're in love. That wouldn't be nice. It's not that important anyway. I just wanted to follow up on the questions her team sent today. Follow up directly, I mean. Anyway, I should order something. Take your time, Miss Aqua. It's all right, I'll order now. I'll have a cup of tea with lemon and cinnamon. Okay, I like when they just tell me. Lemon, what's this? Mint. Cinnamon. We have mint now. Oh, that looks nice. Here you go. Oh, it looks so pretty. If I'm not mistaken, it's called Russian tea, right? Oh, you knew? I heard about it once. I'm pretty sure the only part that's Russian is the name. It was originally from a community cookbook or something. You're right. Whoa, that's a highly specific fun fact to know. I guess I spent, uh, spent too much time browsing the internet. When did you arrive, Freya? I've been here since you left last night. Oh, that's why... That's why... Okay, I was confused why we didn't, like, say hello. But she was like, do you want to order another drink? Oh. <laughs> Finish drinking first, Aqua. I made her drink for so long. Uh, I, I said you haven't left? I was just joking. Oh, oh. I, I, I bought it too. That would be crazy. Why? Oh no. I didn't mean to offend you or anything. It's just that you shouldn't forget to take breaks. You too, Shelby. Please make sure you get enough rest. Of course I will, Miss Aqua. Thank you for the reminder. By the way, Aqua. Yes? Where do you come from? Because judging from your accent, you're not from the States. I'm not. I'm from the ocean. Whoa, so you're a full-fledged oceanic? Born and raised in the sea. Why did you move here? Chasing the American dream, I guess. You moved with your family? No, I'm the only one who could move here. Oh, may I know why? It's not easy for our people, especially the females, to get higher education. I got scholarships and the opportunity. I wasn't sure about moving, you know, but my parents pushed me to do it. How long have you been here? Almost two years now. Do your parents visit often? They can't. Do you know how hard it is for my people to get a US visa? I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay, we're still in contact. We do a video call at least once a week. Do you have siblings? Of course. We are sea people. My extended family is probably as big as Seattle's population. Whoa, that's a lot. You have really that many relatives? Of course not. I was just exaggerating. But if you could count my grandpa's kids and grandkids, there are hundreds of us. Holy. How about you, Freya? Do you have any siblings? I have. Not as many as you, I assume. I have a little brother, four years younger. He also lives in Seattle? No, he's living in San Francisco, near our parents' house. He's the good kid and I'm the rebel, working some high-end tech job while taking care of my dad on the weekends. That's so nice of him. I know, right? That reminds me. I should visit my parents after finishing this draft. You should. Visit them while you can. I know. Anyway. Uh, I want to order something. Another espresso? You know the usual. I sure do. I sure do. Boop. Your espresso's ready. Thanks. Bitter. Just the way I love it. I was like, don't tell me I did it wrong. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so happy. <laughs> I wanted him to be a character so bad. Thank you for not telling me. Oh my God, his sweater. Oh my God, his little phone. Oh my God, his little whiskers and his mustache. He has both. <gasps> Is he the dad? Good evening, sir. Good evening. I think he might be the dad. How can I help you, sir? Ah, uh, yes. Hmm. I don't know what to order. Something to raise your spirits, perhaps? Hmm. Hmm. Hi! 
Go eat dinner. You didn't have to yell at me on your way to the kitchen. Oh, she's coming now. Go eat dinner. She comes stomping. I love how cats just stomp. Oh, she's stretching. You come here. And my little black cat. Can I pick you up? Uh, she's walking away now. Okay, goodbye. Oh, she wants to be pet though. Come here. Come here. Aww. She's like rubbing her butt on everything. She wants scratchies. Nothing you like on the menu? I can make you a custom drink if you like. Actually, are you familiar with STMJ? I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. If you can tell me the ingredients, I'm sure I can recreate it. Ah, lucky me. STMJ stands for Susu Teller Madu Jahe? I don't know. It's Indonesian. It means milk, egg, honey, and ginger. Okay, I can only do three things though. Uh, wait, do you have the eggs? I certainly have. They're not on the shelf, but I'll add egg once I've mixed the rest of the ingredients. I'd love that, one cup of STMJ. I entirely forgot what that was now. Um, milk, honey, ginger. Milk, honey, ginger. And then we'll add the egg afterwards. But, but, but the egg? But the egg, though. You almost. I, but the egg, though. Where was the egg? This, because there's no egg! You should have put the ginger in after the milk. Oh. Oh! Okay, that wasn't even the problem. I did it in the wrong order. I've traveled to so- wait, what did he say? What was the right way? So, so, ginger in after the milk. What, what, what? I guess it's the honey? You should have put the ginger in. So what order does that mean? It's the honey. You should have put the ginger in after the milk. Oh, ginger and then honey. And I did honey and ginger. Shoot. Okay. Uh, well, we did our best. I thought I, 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 did, I thought the egg was something wrong. Excuse me, may I ask you girls something? Sure, ask away. What kind of things do you like? What kind of things do you kids like doing nowadays? Excuse me? Aren't you college students? Um, no, we're not. Uh, <laughs> I see. Uh, may I ask how old you are? Er, you're being creepy, old man. Go back to your chair and keep your distance. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be creepy. <clears throat> hey, Shelby. I just... Who is this pervy old man? I want to... I have no idea. It's his first time here. I want to be able to understand young people. That's probably good. Thank God you're here, Officer Georgie. What's up? There's a creepy old man trying to flirt with us. I didn't get it. I didn't get flirting vibes. But uh, the moving closer was weird. You didn't need to do that part. You do have to maybe keep a distance. You're a stranger. You mean him? Yes, but not so loud. This man here is Rachel's dad, Freya. He asked to meet me, so I told him to come here. Oh, I didn't know that's right. that Rachel's dad was a pervy old man. No wonder she ran away from home. Hey, everyone, ex please meet Mr. Furlong, Rachel's dad. Mr. Furlong, please meet Freya and Shelby. Please call me Hendry. I apologize for earlier. I wasn't trying anything funny. I'm sorry about that. Wait a minute. Your name is Hendry Furlong? Yes. And you're Rachel Florencia's father? Yes. Furlong? Florencia? Why do you have different last... What are we making a big deal about having different last names for? What are you trying to pull? Florencia was my late wife's maiden name. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was rude. I noticed it was rude even before you said anything. Rachel chose it for her stage name. Freya. Okay, I think I better work on my novel. I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about. Uh, Freya, I'll come with you. 
Yeah, I was out of line, Freya. People have different last names. Also, she is a celebrity, so having a stage name is not that uncommon. Anyway, what was it that you wanted to talk to me about? It's about Rachel. That night when you drove her home, she was hanging out with shady people? I think one of them was a bit shady. Hey, I heard that. What? I'm not a criminal. I'm just kidding. She was in this coffee shop talking with Freya and Shelby here. She wasn't in any danger. Are you sure? What about before that? Whoa, calm down. Is everything all right? It's just that I feel that she's getting more and more distance. Distant. I don't know how to talk to her anymore. Or even what to talk about. I don't know what kids her age are into nowadays. Every time we talk, we ended up fighting. I have three daughters. We fight all the time. One thing that I learned, give them time and space. But be there when they need you. Or you can just bribe them. One time, I had a fight with my eldest daughter. She didn't want to talk to me for a week. I know she loves pizza, so I went to Rocco's and bought her favorite pie. They don't say that in Seattle. That's New, that's New York. We just, you don't want to say pie there. I left the pizza on the table like a trap. Then I just waited for her to take the bait. Just like a stakeout. Once she took a bite of that delicious pepperoni, I casually grabbed a slice and sat with her. That pizza really helped smooth things over. After that, she wouldn't stop talking. What if... What she loves doing is the problem. Rachel loves singing and performing on stage. I'm proud of what she has achieved with her career. She's really young. But the entertainment industry isn't a kind place. Not the label, not the media, not the fans. And I don't trust her new manager. Rachel's just a little girl. What if she gets harassed or forced to do drugs? Did something happen? Well, nothing's happened yet. I just feel it in my guts. Is it possible that you're just being paranoid? I don't know, maybe. Maybe a little bit. Psst, Shelby, I need to go now. Thanks for the drink. Take care on your way. Well, can't you just find another manager? Rachel's already 18, so legally she can sign contracts without parental approval. That is scary. <laughs> I've been trying to tell her to quit, but every time I brought it up, we just ended up fighting. She's telling He's telling her to quit? Like her whole career? That's not, maybe, a measured response. As a parent, there's really nothing much we can do other than guiding them and being there when they need us. Sooner or later, we'll have to trust them to make their own decisions, and with everything we've taught them, hopefully they'll make the right choices. What if she made the wrong choices? They're also her choices, though. You don't know what's right and wrong for her. I can do a background check on that manager. If that will ease your mind, please do. Okay, give me a name. It's Morris. Last name, Lester. Morris Lester, got it. Oh, isn't he the guy in today's paper? Oh, I don't remember. Anyway, I'll let you know if there's a hit. What's that? Hold on, I gotta take this. A hit? Could that be a hit? I've just got a call. I've gotta go. I'd love to talk more about this with you. Let's meet again soon. Wait, you have my contact details. Call me if you ever need my help. Wait! He's a cop. He can't wait. He gotta go. He has things. Cop things. Crimes and all that. There's crime. Hen- Oh. Uh, don't worry. I'm sure everything will be alright. I used to manage a girl band. I've- Oh. Wh why don't you manage it then? I've seen bad things happen. That bad? Yeah. I was against her joining that pop group at first. But my wife, Rachel's mom, she convinced me to give it a chance. Ever since she's been gone- I don't know how to talk to Rachel. With her wanting to do more of her own stuff, I don't know what to do. What do you mean by her own stuff? Modeling and a solo singing career. It's a whole different world than the band. I'm familiar with that side of the biz. But things have changed, right? Even if it has, I don't think it's for the better. She survived being an idol. Even managed to graduate and start a solo career. She sounds like someone who can take care of herself. Don't you think so? She's not ready. I don't want her to get hurt. There are a lot of bad people out there. People that want to take advantage of her. You are her father. You, I understand you might be worried. However, you shouldn't hinder her from achieving her dreams. I just want what's best for her. Is it really what's best though? I think she's born to soar. But, but she's just a girl. My little girl. What do you mean just a girl? What do you mean just? <laughs> That's your argument. 
I didn't mean to sound that way. It doesn't matter whether she's a boy or a girl. You'll drive her away if you keep acting like this. With your knowledge, you should be able to help her achieve her dreams. And keep her safe. I was once a stubborn young girl, too. Maybe I can give you a little advice on how to handle rebellious teens. I'd love to hear it. Is it okay if I stay a bit longer, Shelby? Take all the time you need. Because also sometimes they are going to make their own choices, and it might be the wrong one. It's just it's theirs. And they might make mistakes, but you have to let them. Start the day. Did I read that? Oh, I don't remember if I read it. Well, you guys probably did. You were staring at it for a while. Um, what did it say? <laughs> I wish I could pull the newspaper up. All right, oh, I could set this to auto? Ooh, I would not want to do that. That's not fun. It's a child cloning? What did it say? <laughs> what are they talking about? Are you sure that would be okay? Yes, I mean, wait, did I miss something? Oh, nope, that's just where it started, okay. I mean, it would be really hard to pull off, but it's something that'll make the story different. Different isn't always good. It's a neat concept, but you need to handle it carefully. And gracefully. I know. What are they talking about? Hey, Gala. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, Mr. Gala. Am I interrupting? It looked like you were having an intense discussion. It's nothing. Shelby was just giving me feedback. It's for the book I'm writing. Sounds like a heavy discussion. What are you up to tonight? I'm just planning to sit and relax. Please don't let my presence interrupt you. Sometimes I forget that this is at night and uh, not in the middle of the day and it's just raining. Uh, oh, don't worry about it. Although I need to interrupt Shelby for a moment. Sure, how can I help you? Can I have a cup of... Hmm. You remember my remedy? Of course. Do you want to give it a try again? My last order didn't quite hit the spot. Remember, it's tea and ginger. The last thing is definitely a different ingredient from either of those. Okay. Remember, it has tea and... I didn't get that part wrong. I got that part right. Tea and ginger. Tea and ginger. Tea. Ginger. Okay. Um, what's this? We have mint now. Mint is new. We didn't have mint before. I don't know that we had cinnamon either. What did we try? I gotta remember, remember what we tried. I think we tried... Lemon? Do I need to like keep a note of the ones that we tried and it was unsuccessful? Here's my mushroom pen. I will keep notes. Um, oh, was it honey? I think it was lemon. Wasn't it lemon? I think I tried lemon. So, not lemon. Okay, cool. I'm gonna try mint because it's new and it sounds nice to me to have mint in tea. I don't know about with ginger. He asked me to experiment, so... Boop. Is this it? How is it? Nope. This drink doesn't even follow my... My guidelines. What do you mean? I keep doing tea and ginger. And... What do you mean it didn't follow your guidelines? I'm confused. Anyway, please don't mind me and continue with your discussion. Don't worry, Mr. Ga Mr. Gallo. We're done for the night. You're done. I have a lot of new homework, thanks to you. You're welcome. Is Hyde coming? No, I'm by myself tonight. It's gonna be a peaceful night then. Maybe Ginger's last? He didn't give me any guidelines like that though. He just said, remember, it's tea and ginger. And then I give him tea and ginger and the mysterious ingredient that we know has to be an experiment because we don't know what it is yet. And then he's like, this isn't what I said. Be more specific then. How is this my fault? <laughs> That means Freya. Oh, come on, I was just joking. He needs to learn how to communicate with his thoughts nicely, though. I've had enough of them. <laughs> I've had enough. He did not say it that not nice. I didn't even think it was that harsh. He might not look like it, but he's a very kind person. I believe it because he did do a kindness, I think, in what he said, even if it was a little harsh. Uh, he doesn't show it, that's for sure. That applies to you as well. Oh, come on. Good evening, everyone. Bailey's is back. Welcome, Mr. Bailey's. He's still doing his grin. Heya, how are you doing, Freya? Not good. What's going on? Well, Shelby was just criticizing my story. It's called feedback. It's cruel. It's necessary. 
Sounds interesting. What's the problem with the story? The story is non-linear and quite complicated. Imagine a choose-your-own-adventure storybook, but for adults. Sounds pretty common, so far. But instead of telling you which page to turn to, each decision you make will give you a score. What? That score will determine which page you should go to. That sounds more like a video game than a book. I know it's not like, it's not that original, but my target here is the mainstream audience. Huh? With the help of my publisher, this kind of book may go mainstream. Just like that choose your own adventure show on Netstream. It was nothing new, but because of the marketing and the names involved, it reached the mainstream market. That sounds interesting. Somebody ask him about Lua, for the love of God, I wanna know what happened. And highly ambitious, Freya. At least it's simpler than my other idea, which is making the novel not in the form of a book, but in the form of story cards. What? I know, right? As if she has all the time in the world, and that's before even considering the sensitive issue of setting the story in a world where only humans exist. What did you say? No, there's a reason why it has to be that way. Just wait until I've finished it, okay? All right, all right. As shall be said, though, I won't have time. Getting a normal pitch approved is already a steep climb. Let's not make the mountain even higher. Fair enough. What's the story all about, by the way? You'll have to wait for it. Don't want to spoil the fun. If you say so. Anyway, I haven't ordered anything. What do you want to drink? Ginger latte, if you know how to make it. I definitely don't. Ginger latte. Coffee. Ginger. Milk. Okay, so it's like the, the base, the primary, and the secondary. Is that how that works? Uh. And then ginger's maybe the secondary one for the dude's remedy or whatever. Here you go. Thanks. I'm very invested in all of the... I could also do green tea, but he didn't say green tea. He said tea, and then he gets so mad at me for it. If you meant green tea, then say green tea. I don't know. We're going to keep experimenting. Damn, this is good. With this kind of drink making skill, I wonder why your place isn't any bigger. It's been very busy lately, in fact. Uh, lots of business, actually. Thank you very much. What we have here now... Wait, what we have here now is more than enough for me. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. By the way, how are you doing, Baileys? Still busy with your last client? Oh, I'm done with her. Done? As in you're dropping the project? Okay, you can just laugh and not say anything. <laughs> hey, I'm not crazy. I still need the money. Done as in I finished the job. I spent the last few days making sure. It's even done before the deadline. Did she like it? Oh, she loved it. She had some complaints, of course, but I convinced her. By using some design terms she doesn't understand. So you finished your job by bullshitting her? The finest bullshit, my lady. The Star Lord's zooming. She's in zoomy mode. Oh, that's my bag, though. That's one survival skill every freelancer must have. Are you working on anything right now? No, I'm taking a break from work. I need to work on a few personal matters. Oh. We all want to know. Like you and Lua? Something like that. By the way, I'm curious. How did you guys meet? If you don't mind me asking. I don't mind. It's just that I was young and stupid, you know? Oh, come on. Who hasn't been there? You're right. So I was a bit of a player back in college. Oh, him in his t-shirt and scarf. What weather are you dressed for? You're not fooling anyone. You don't know if you're cold or warm. You're worried you might get cold, but also might get too warm. And so you have a scarf. I can't imagine him as a player. <laughs> he doesn't seem like the type. Uh, ooh, spicy. And I was going after my then best friend's girlfriend's friend. Okay, I was like, you, your best friend's girlfriend? Best friend's girlfriend's friend. Jeez. Wait, what? Okay, I'll say it slowly. I used to have a best friend. He was an incubus. He was an incubus. Okay. 
Let's call him Cognac. 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 It's all drink things. Cognac. Cognac is, has a girlfriend, still following, and that girl has a friend. The friend is the one I'm after. Oh, okay, got it. She was one of the hottest girls there, but everyone knew she wasn't the type of girl you'd want to date. Oh, you, 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 why, why, why? <laughs> it's, I don't want to get into details, but this succubus was super hot. I, no, let's please get into the details. I would love to, to know that detail. And all the guys wanted to sleep with her. She was a player too. Huh? That doesn't sound like Lua at all. Because it wasn't Lua, genius. Huh? Lua was my friend's girl. Holy moly. This is getting spicier. The other girl's name was... Let's just call her Rose. Continue. I knew Lua thanks to her relationship with Cognac. That's a fake name you made up, right? Yes! Now, will you let me continue without interruptions? Okay, okay. So I asked Lua a lot of things about Rose. She knew what I was after. It annoyed her so much, but I kept on bothering her. I mean, I was a pretty active guy back then. Okay, I knew he was giving me a vibe that I don't enjoy. <laughs> and now it's coming out. So Lua came over to visit at one point. Hold on, I think it's too dark. Tad bit higher. So Lua came over to visit us at one point. I lived with Cognac back in college. I'd been out and I got back just as Lua arrived. A total coincidence. We went into our place together and witnessed something surprising. What? Cognac was sleeping with Rose. <gasps> he cheated on her. With her friend! Holy mother of holy, wait, moly. I saw the look on Lua's face, the disbelief, anger, sadness, and without even thinking about it, I punched Cognac in the face. You what? I got into a fight with him. Oh, I haven't told you. Cognac was a Brazilian jiu-jitsu tutor for kids. He's pretty good. Oh my. Yeah, I landed that one punch and he beat me to a pulp, easily. Lua begged me to stop fighting on her behalf. More like she begged Cognac. Hey, I wasn't kidding. I lost, but I don't give up so easily. I was beaten pretty bad. So Lua took care of my injuries. We grew closer after that. And I don't even remember the exact date, but suddenly that friendship turned into a relationship. That was one hell of a story. I know. Have you seen her by any chance? Yeah. Lua came by a few days ago. How was she doing? She hasn't returned any of my calls or texts. <gasps> Lua, girl, you're... Blowing it! You're sabotaging it! Well, she's healthy, that's for sure. She got into an argument, though. With whom? There was this male model. <laughs> he didn't say anything that wasn't true. A model? I didn't think she was the type of girl to go out with a model. Oh, they weren't together. What were they arguing about? Well, we were talking about your relationship. Lua told us about the reason behind the fight, about your family stuff. And then the guy, Hyde, joined the, the discussion. What did he say? He didn't understand why Lua would insist on getting family approval, considering, you know, what? You're willing to leave your own family. You would do that for her. Yes, I would. I'm sick and tired of my family. Why would you say that? But you probably because it's true. Let me tell you about my family. Or I should say, most elven families. They all think they're so high and mighty. If you're born an elf, there are certain unwritten rules you must follow. Reputation and appearance are everything, and you left the your home in a t-shirt and scarf, and appearances are everything? We must never, ever make our family look bad. You can only befriend certain people. You must dress a certain way. <laughs> That's his act of rebellion, actually. I respect it. You can only have certain jobs, jobs that are deemed worthy and successful, like being a doctor, a lawyer, a CEO. You know, ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be an artist. I love drawing and creating art. However, becoming an artist is not something elves would deem suitable. Unless you become the next Da Vinci. So when I switched from a business major to an art major, my parents went crazy, screamed like they were on fire. They told me that I'd never be rich or successful, 
All that because you chose an art degree? You want to know the worst part? They blamed Lua. What do you mean? They blamed her for my decision to pursue my passion for art. Yelled about how her kind is ruining the country. Accusing their religion of worshipping the Dark Lord. Accusing her of putting a spell on me and cursing the family. Whoa. I mean, come on, this is the 21st century. That's not cool. I don't want to sound judgmental, but your family is racist. Tell me about it. Lua is the only person that can make me feel alive. She showed me how I can be free and pursue my dreams. I don't understand why Lua is so obsessed with the idea of reconciliation with my family. I just don't get it. I have no problem leaving my family, you know. I would happily leave them for the both of us. What about her? She is very close with her family, even though they're just as bad as his. He's not defending his parents, but she is defending hers for like the same racist behavior, essentially. Uh, what about her and her family? You may be happy to leave your family, however, it may not be the same for her. Oh no, it very clearly isn't. Gala, do you have something to say? Perhaps you could give us a different perspective. Sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. I couldn't help overhearing your story. I assumed that the person you're talking about is not an elf, correct? Yes, she's a succubus. What's an incubus? That's a different thing, right? He said incubus before. What was, what's that one? What's, what's, what's that one? <laughs> I see. I'm a werewolf. For werewolves, the wolf pack is the most important thing. We'll put family before any other. We often have our own problems within the pack, but we don't abandon our family for anything. What if your family sucks, though? Perhaps that's also true for her and her family. Besides, if you leave your family for her, wouldn't that make your parents believe that all those bad stereotypes about succubi are true? I never thought of it that way before. Whether you like it or not, your actions will have an impact on her as well. And if you leave your family for her, that will put her in a difficult spot. She might feel responsible for your actions. There's nothing to feel bad about. I'm leaving my messy family to create a better one with her. It's easy for you to say that now, but you don't know what the future holds. One day, circumstances might change. Oh, it's the guy. Okay, I see. Succubus is the girl. Incubus is the guy. Gotcha. One day, one of you might regret your decisions. One day, you might use the I left my family for you card. We love each other. I'll be with her whatever the circumstances may be. You know, love is like a flame. It might burn fiercely at first, but over time it will die down if you don't maintain it. Maintaining it won't be easy, it will be hard work. Because life, life is full of storms. And marriage, it will not survive on love alone. That's deep, real. We'll have each other and that's enough for us. Tell me, do you have health insurance? What? Did you see that? My light flashed. Did my light just flash? Did you see the light flash? Uh, I think that my light bulb's going out. I think that's what that was. <laughs> that was just very random and it scared me. I actually should have, it's, it's, my light is only half lit. It's like half dim because the light bulb's dying and every once in a while it flashes to the full brightness it's supposed to be when my, when a new light bulb would be in. Uh, but I just have not replaced it and keep turning the light on anyway. I'm an elf. Why would I need health insurance? You'll need some. What for? Immortality is an elven privilege. But you'll lose it if your family disowns you. That's interesting that your family disowning you, like, on paper, removes your immortality. That's wild. I've seen people go bankrupt because they fell ill or got seriously injured, emptied their entire life savings for an $8 pill, because in this country, they charge $20,000 for it. Woo! Let's get into it. If you decide to have children, they won't have the same privilege as you do. Also, each child is like $50,000 or something crazy. Just to have in the first place. And then more, obviously. <laughs> to keep alive. Uh, there's a high probability that they'll get bullied for being a half-breed. <gasps> oh, I don't think that's any reason not to do that. There are consequences. It shouldn't be taken lightly. Think about it. Anyway, I've got to go. I apologize for my intrusion. No, thank you for your insight. I've got to go, too. Want to head out together? Sure. 
Thanks for the drink, Shelby and Freya. Bye. The thing is though, she can't live her life for her family the whole time. Can't do that the whole time. What? You made me lose two customers in a minute. Hey, that wasn't on me. They were leaving anyway. Are you going to write that in your book? It's a secret. If your book is based on this coffee shop, how can you present a story like theirs in a world with only humans around? I'm not sure. Perhaps a hot drink will give you some inspiration. Star? She just came stomping out. Come here. She wants attention. I'm gonna go out and play with her in 30 minutes. We're just gonna play 30 more minutes of the game. Uh, and then we'll pause where we're at. Perhaps a hot drink will give you some inspiration. Sounds like a great idea. I wanted to make another one. I don't get to make them enough. I kind of want to make them a little bit more. Just for fun. Just easy ones. Ones where they tell me exactly the exact ingredients and in the exact order they should go. Yeah, I think Freya's world's gonna be like our world. And in their world, they're like, that's really racist to imagine a world where there's only humans. And that's the world we live in because we're only humans. And they're like, but but if it's all just the same race, they won't have these problems. And then Freya's like, no, they're still gonna have problems. And then there's us who are having problems. <sighs> and they have the same problems. Who vows to stop major hospitals selling fury sedative illegally? Coach... Did you, do you see it when it does that? That was my light flashing. I shouldn't have it on actually. Uh, I don't know if it'll just explode because it's on, but also it's not working, so I shouldn't have it on. Okay. I usually don't have it on. I, I forgot to turn it off. Uh, and it scares me when it's on because it flickers and it makes a sound. Coachella 2020, 10 reasons why you should go. No thanks. Sports tournament in space might be only a few decades away. Okay, so we're in space too. We're in space. We made it to space too. I say we, we're not. I mean, we're, we, we are, we are, we're role playing. He really never changed. I know, but it was surprisingly nice catching up with people from back then. Thank you for forcing me to do it. Don't mention it. Hey Shelby, I'd like to order again, the usual. Oh, I was like, I don't know what that is. I do, I do know what that is. Dude, this game is so, I really, really like it so far. Um, I think we're probably about halfway from getting the entire main story and the little extra bits. It's maybe six hours for the main story with the extra bits, but it's been so good so far. I love the story. Uh, this guy's a vampire and this guy's a werewolf. Back to the experiment. Yes, you know what? Try adding milk to, oh, now he's, I messed it up too many times and he doesn't trust me anymore. <laughs> Adding, try adding milk to the ingredients you already have. All right, you know what to do. All right, well, he's already, I'm gonna do it in this order. He keeps getting mad at me and he told me to try milk this time. And I just don't know that that's gonna be correct. I was gonna do honey, cause you guys said honey last time. But this is what he wanted. He can't be, get mad at me for this, this time. Just what I needed. Was that it, was that it? Does that mean the experiment's over? What about you, Mr. Hyde? Would you like to order anything else? I'm good for now. I couldn't help overhearing you both. It sounds like you two go way back. We do, I guess. Didn't they, we already know that. Uh, he was my bodyguard. Oh, didn't you meet here? Yeah, when this was a bar. What happened exactly? He was getting his ass kicked by a couple of dwarves. Ugh, those two bastards. It wasn't a pretty sight, so I intervened. A vampire got beat up by two dwarves? We don't know anything about the like races in this world and like do, vampires probably aren't extra strong. They're just pretty people. <laughs> they just have pretty privilege and they drink blood. It wasn't a pretty sight, so I intervened. Aren't vampires, oh, I am her. Aren't vampires supposed to be, you know, tough? Just because I'm a vampire, it doesn't mean I know Kung Fu. Besides, I had a couple of drinks. I could have taken them both if I was sober. A couple? Really? You were trashed, Hyde. You told them I was your bodyguard. Wait, were you not his bodyguard? Not at the time. We didn't even know each other. But because of that whole fiasco, we both got kicked out. And then... This wasted vampire stuck to me. Like, well, you know, to a blanket. And then they fell in love. Because I'm pretty sure they, they are 
gay. Obviously, he was too drunk to drive, so I hailed a cab. Turns out he was also too drunk to tell the driver where he lived, and I was stuck with him until mor until morning. <laughs> no, that would have been completely innocent because he was wasted. Thanks for not leaving me on the street, Gala. Those dwarves could have killed me. Who were they? I'm not going to confirm or deny anything, but it's possible they may have had ties to the Mafia. And I might have lost some of their money on the stock market. A lot of their money. Yikes. They wanted me to launder their dirty money, so I decided to screw them over instead. Yeah, I overheard what they were talking about before the fight started. I knew Hyde was innocent, and that's why I helped him. He might be an annoying asshole, but he's not a thief. What a stroke of luck, the universe sending me a guardian angel in my time of need. So the next morning, I offered him a job as a bodyguard for real. After all the trouble you caused me the night before, hey, I took you to breakfast. And he went and took him to breakfast in the morning. That's so cute. Don't tell me that that counted for nothing. I have to say, it wasn't my proudest moment. I was broke. Breakfast was an offer I couldn't refuse. It was the late 60s, mind you. It wasn't easy finding a job, especially for people like me. Werewolves? Men. <laughs> War veterans. Ah, I see. Hmm. So how did you go from working as a bodyguard to working in the hospital? How did you go from being in a war to being a bodyguard to working in a hospital? Well, when he was working with me, I noticed Hyde. I'd prefer it if we skipped that part. I'm sorry, but I don't want to go into any details about it. It's all right. Forgive me for asking. I don't mind telling you the quick and dirty version. Long story short, he helped me with something. Let's just say something from my past. Thanks to that help, I found a new purpose in life, helping other people live. Of course, it's not easy for a veteran werewolf to become a nurse or doctor. That's why I chose hospital admin instead. So you could say I owe this guy my life. Thanks to his stubborn persistence in helping me when I needed it. Thank you for sharing your story with me. I didn't expect such a tale from you. I know. Anyway, Shelby, I'd like to order something now. What would you like? Can you make a tea-based drink that's warm and cool at the same time? I'm gonna... <sighs> warm tea. This will make it cool. This will make it very cool. This will make it warmer. This will make it a little bit cooler. I'm just, okay, I'm gonna do the lemon. You get tea with milk and lemon. Because I could have done mint and something else. Uh, whatever. It made them the same. Here's your order. The cool and warm were the same. Exactly what I wanted! By the way, it feels like this place is missing something today. Yeah, I haven't seen her today. Speak of the devil. Hello, good people. And one vampire. Why, why is he singled out for being a vampire? He's a werewolf. That's pretty rude. It's good to see you too. Freya, by the way, we were just talking about you. Oh, really? What about me? I was just surprised that you weren't here. Is that how you pick up girls young enough to be your granddaughter? That won't work on me. I have no interest in flirting with you. Ma'am, he's gay. <laughs> I've got high standards, you know. You, you look so tired, Freya. Hard day at work? Uh, how could you tell? Call it werewolf senses. Right. I showed Shelby my draft and I actually got some good feedback. That's good to hear. Glad I could help. So I spent the whole day rewriting stuff and I also did some stories for the paper. Overall, it was a good day. That's good to hear, but please don't forget to take a break. It's easy to get carried away by work when you're on a roll. Will do, sir. And speaking of hospitals, how's your hospital admining life going? That's not even a word, Freya. Actually, I'm not even sure what you even do there. Hmm. It's pretty boring to talk about, but mostly I handle operational stuff happening in the hospital. Things like how much a specialist costs and how much it affects our income. I also deal with patients and their families. If they require intensive care, such as operations, I go through what we do and how much it would cost them. Kinda like bit biz dev for people's lives then? You could say that. Damn, that sounds complicated and hard. 
That's why I'm suited for my job. Someone who gets very emotionally attached to patients would find this job pretty tough. Whereas heartless people like my friend here only see it from a business perspective. Good point. Why do people rarely talk about your kind of job? I guess most people don't really notice we exist or think about the necessity of it. Exactly, it's an interesting job, yet no one talks about it. Maybe because most admins are just like me. We rarely talk about work outside the hospital. Why? For me, I just don't find any reason to. It's the patient's personal lives anyway. Such professionalism and loyalty. You should keep hold of that mindset, especially in front of this lady here. You... He needs a bit less... He needs to be a bit less loyal, though. Hyde, you've been doing this job for a while, right? Almost 50 years now. Whoa, I didn't know that. Wait. 50 years in the same position? Uh-huh. Holy. Ask for a promotion, man. They keep offering me new positions, mostly managerial. Take it. Not interested. Why? It's not something I want. Besides, as I've told you before, I fit perfectly in this position. But the salary must be better if you take the promotion, right? Of course. But what I get at the moment is more than enough for me right now. And I still get raises while I'm doing this job. I was like, I think you still make more money the longer you do it. You're supposed to be raised. You have to be raised a certain amount every year. A certain percent. I really can't figure you out. Thanks, Gala. That's Gala for you. Anyway, my shift's starting soon. It was nice catching up with both of you. Are you going to stay, Hyde? Yeah, I'm still enjoying the vibes here. Yeah, we have good vibes. I'll see you in a few weeks, I guess. Yep, safe trip. See you around, Shelby. And you, Freya. See you. Take care on your way. I forgot Hyde's leaving. You know, it's kind of hard to believe someone like Gala could be your best friend. We were just talking about that before you arrived. Oh, really? Man, I missed an interesting story. So how did you guys meet? Seriously, I have to retell the story? Yes. Come on, you're not going anywhere, right? All right, then. We met in this place back when it was a bar. He'll be back in a few weeks, but I'm sad that he's leaving. <sighs> Whoa. I never knew Gally used to be in the army. I mean, he's got the build to be on the front line. Still, though, why did he make the jump from, how should I say this, a very physical job to medic? Well, he's not comfortable talking about it right now. But you know why, right? Are you trying to squeeze the story from me? Obviously, he doesn't want to talk about it. That's him, not you. Okay, Fre Freya's pushy. Freya's too pushy. Seriously, Freya? Come on. You're gonna make him leave. You're making him uncomfortable. I won't get into details, but going to war messes with your head. Oh, what kind of response do you think you would get? You see why Gala doesn't want to talk about it, huh? I don't get it, but it must be difficult, especially back then. The only thing he was... The only thing he's... Wait. <laughs> the only thing he was confident in was his strength. So he only did work that relied on his muscle. That wouldn't help him get over his trauma, though, right? Of course not. But it was the only thing he could do. Or at least it's the only thing he thought he could do. But you hired him for his muscle? Hey, I didn't know about all that at the time. Besides, he's good at being a bodyguard. And we weren't that close yet. So no personal feelings. I needed his strength. And then I got to be interested in him. Romantically. <laughs> interested? I think he's a cool person. That's all. Don't ruin this for me. And after a few months, I noticed his problem. I suggested he talk about it with someone, seek help. Which he refused. No surprises there. But I kind of pushed him to do it. How? It's complicated. Eventually, he did go get professional help. Of course, I've no idea what happened in his therapy sessions. But in the end, he found a new purpose in his life, and he quit working for me. And not so long after that, he started working at the hospital. And he's been work... <gasps> no way! I didn't know they'd come back. I thought they were like a one-time, what the fuck was that kind of a moment <laughs> in this game. This is getting progressively too dark. That's good, that's better. No, it's doing the line thing. One more. That works for now. I'll switch into night uh switch into night mo nighttime mode. Well, we're only gonna play another 20 minutes. Uh 
And then I don't need to go into nighttime mode. Um, good evening, everyone. Whoo, boy. Good evening. I love that this lights up when it, like, giggles. It's nice to see you again. We are also glad to see you, barista. By the way, I didn't catch your name last time you visited. Do you have a name? Name. Oh, please call us Neil. Neil. Yes, Neil. Is that your real name? Oh, of course not. Due to the nature of our communication, we do not really need trivial things like names to interact. But from what we have learned here, it seems like the name Neil has a lot of associations with Earthling efforts in intergalactic exploration. I get what you mean. I believe we did not meet the last time we were here. I saw you from afar when you left the coffee shop a few days ago. So hello, my name is Freya. You could say I'm a regular here. And you, sir? Hide. You come here often? Ooh! Wait, no, he's taken. <laughs> he's taken by Gala. For someone who doesn't live in Seattle, yeah. Ooh, you are not from around here. Neither are we. Where do you come from? Far away. By far away, you mean a few thousand miles or more? More. Much more. More to the point that your strange calculation system means nothing. That sounds far away indeed. What are you doing here in Seattle? And do all your kind dress like this? Oh, this? We chose this appearance based on an image we saw when we first arrived. Image? Ah, the Aremi Gendru album cover? No wonder you look familiar. I don't know what that is. As for what we are doing, this place is really the perfect spot to practice our communication skills with Earthlings. Yes, please keep coming back. But before that, there's a second game of this. I'm, I just got so excited remembering that. I was like, there's only three or four more hours left. I'm so sad. But before that, please let us order something from the barista. What do you want to drink tonight? The usual. That is how you say it, yes? Yes. So anything? Yes, we won't be able to taste the difference anyway. You can't, really can't taste anything? Yes. What if I can brew a drink that can make you feel something? Interesting premise, but we doubt you will be able to do that. Challenge accepted. Please surprise us. Um, triple espressoing them. Tri triple espressoing. Espressoing. <laughs> They're getting all three coffee. That'll make you feel something. A cup of anything is ready for you. Thank you. What the? Interesting. What are you doing? Drinking? That's how they drink. Ooh boy, you are one interesting person. Thank you. I think there are more than one though. That was a compliment, yes? Normally, yes. But you can't be so sure with Freya. That definitely wasn't the highest form of compliment. What are you, Neil? Us? We are travelers. Uh, doing our job in the space you call Milky Way. What kind of job? We are tasked with the mission to spread our seeds. See, this was why I didn't want him to come back. I forgot about that part. You really are here to find a date. All the way from a galaxy far, far away? Is, it, does it count as a date if he doesn't understand, understand the concept of date and he's just trying to plant his seed? Dude, do it somewhere else. <laughs> it turns out... Pervs exist everywhere in the universe. If someone was gonna say it, it would have been Freya. Feeling attacked, old man? Not really. You have a valid point. We do not understand, but we are glad if we can make you laugh. Oh, the pleasure was mine. If I may ask, why do you have to breed with us? Hmm, we are sorry, but that is classified information. That's suspicious. That's really suspicious. Oh man, well, how's the mission going so far? We cannot say it's going well. I'm not surprised with how quirky and unique you are. Not many women can handle that. Could you handle them though? Me? I don't know, what do you think? Are they flirting? Are they flirting? He's gay. <laughs> he said he's not into her already, didn't he? You're a pretty adventurous girl. I wouldn't, were, are they gonna be like enemies to lovers or something? Cause he, he was like, I'm not into you or something. Like I have higher standards is what he said. But now I think they're flirting? Hmm. If they're enemies to lovers, then I'm on board. But only then. I wouldn't be surprised if you decided to go on a date. Or maybe go further if it got you a good story. Okay, actually, that was rude. Actually, 
Never mind, she found it funny. <laughs> oh, you're not offended by that? Not in the slightest. You're wrong, though. I'd go on a date with them, but I don't like to sleep around. Really? Don't be so surprised. Don't be honest. Oh, to be honest, I didn't expect that. Yeah, I get that a lot. That's rude. I don't like that. What's wrong with you? People often mistake me for someone who gets around a lot. Excuse me, miss. From what we gather, does it mean you are willing to breed with us in exchange for our stories? <laughs> wow, no wonder your mission isn't going well. I don't mind going out with you for a drink or dinner in exchange for stories, but I'll only sleep with someone I'm serious about. But our mission is serious. It's not that. You either have to be my boyfriend or husband if you want to sleep with me. We have heard of those terms before. Let us check them once again. This is, this is very strange. According to what we found, many earthlings mate with one person exclu- You didn't check this before? I could tell. Uh, mate with one person exclusively for their entire lives? Yes, that's called commitment. Such a strange concept. Then why with such rules do you still face overpopulation problems? Hmm, now that you mention it, we don't have enough control of ourselves, and those in charge also don't have enough control of us, and they uh, don't think should have more. Not to mention, some races live for a very, very long time. So even though there are rules about having kids, and they can be strictly enforced, a lot of people still break them. We know Earthlings boast about the concept of free will, but we thought your kind also loved the concept of restraint and taking care of the planet. You know, the bar is on the floor. Uh, at least that was what we gathered from your information network. Theoretically, that should be the case, but earthlings are stupid and they're selfish. That's the easiest way to put it. We learned so much today, but we have another question for Miss Freya. Ask away. How can we become your husband? First of all, I would suggest going step by step. Most of the time you start by dating. Boyfriends or girlfriends, you know? Before you talk about marriage. Oh, okay. So, how can we become your boyfriend? You could start by asking her whether she's actually single. This is him actually asking, but he's pretending he hates her because it's enemies to lovers. That's why I, want, I want that to be the, the story going on here. Understood. So, Miss Freya, are you single? Yes, I am single. Do you want to be our girlfriend? Now, the path to start to starting to date varies between people, but usually it takes some time before you want to commit yourself to someone. Wow, the breeding process on Earth is surely extremely compl complicated. That's because we're not doing it for breeding either. It can be easier if you're a smooth talker. Smooth talker? Someone good at communicating with others. That would be really challenging for us. Even after all that, making kids is still in a totally different league. Most women prefer it if their male partners wear condoms. Condoms? Oh no, we're gonna teach him. <gasps> Safe sex though. It's something you wear to prevent pregnancy. Why would you do the mating ritual if you do not want to have offspring? He's only here to breed. Pleasure. All this information is too much to process in one evening. <laughs> so we talked about using condoms, but how your kind how do your kind have sex? Like seeing how you drink. A condom might be something you can't use at all. Hmm, that's true. How do you do it? We are pretty flexible with that. But we cannot tell you the details unless we agree to do the mating ritual. I would be afraid of that. I'd be really afraid of that. I don't want to imagine how it's done. <laughs> oh, you do not need to worry. We will not hurt anyone physically or mentally. That's good. We can't even make that promise here. I'm not so sure about that, especially the mental part. We did our research and we tried it on the testing object we made. It was proven. The mental capacity of Earthlings is far more complicated than anything else on Earth, sir. Oh, we did not know that. Being born on Earth sounds very difficult. It is. I have to agree with that. Anyway, thank you so much for the information you have given us tonight. It means a lot for our mission. We have to report our findings to the base. How will you proceed with your mission with this newfound information? We are not sure yet. It is yet to be discussed after all. It was really nice talking with all of you. You're welcome. We are off now. Bye. Take care on your way, sir. 
Everyone's, every, all you guys are being like, aw, he a little guy. Am I the only one concerned about the fact that his race has a mission to breed and spread their seed with other, on other planets? And it's classified Y and, and, no, no one else concerned? Okay. <laughs> That's cute, aw. He has a job. <laughs> that was really something. Indeed. You said the first time they were here was for a date, right? Yeah, but their date never came. And they mistook Miss Myrtle for their date. The game developer orc? Wow, I dread to think how that went. It was pretty awkward. But you can't be angry at such naivety. I don't know how to say that one out loud either. I guess so. Naivete. Is that how you do it? <laughs> By the way, has that young woman been back since I spoke with her last time? <gasps> Miss Lua! Miss Lou. Yeah, it is a popular alien narrative. They just never have done it in such a cute little character guy where you're like, aww, little guy. <laughs> yeah, her. Oh, showing some concern now, are you? I'm just curious. People are making him sound like he doesn't give a shit. He was not ever mean. No, I haven't seen her since then. But her boyfriend did come a few days ago. And Freya was being pretty nosy to the point that Mr. Gala joined the discussion. My, my, you really have a knack for starting trouble. She's pushy. She's a little pushy, I gotta say. Sadly, I have to agree with that. It's not easy to make Gala join a random conversation unless it really piques his interest or it annoys him. I don't know how to react to that. Well, I need to catch a flight to Seoul tomorrow. So I'm off for the day. Oh, you're leaving Seattle so soon? You can go outside in the day. It's only for a week or so. I'll be back here sooner than you know. Oh good, I can't wait. I'm so sad seeing him go. Oh well, it'll be a peaceful week then. Anyway, I need to get going as well. Thank you for letting me stay without ordering anything. Hmm, I didn't even notice that. You really do don't care about business. That's because I'm loaded. I'm rich. I'm rich as fuck. How did I make my money as a witch? Because we're a witch, canonically. Yeah, head cannon, at least. No one can convince me otherwise because they talked about my coffee being magic. So, yeah. Uh, she didn't order anything, but she did attract people to the coffee shop. That's one way to put it. Anyway, Freya, do you want to share a cab? Enemies to lovers, enemies to lovers. Thanks, but I'm riding my bike. It's raining. You're always riding your bike in the rain. All right, then. See you around. Take care on your way, folks. I'm going to do one more day. Um, I think, because I was going to wrap up about seven. So that should be, maybe we'll go a little over. I don't know, these days are pretty long, but I, I go slow and I talk, but I like it. I'm so invested. I'm, I'm so invested. Isn't it so much fun? And then there's a second game, I'm so excited. I'm gonna play this tomorrow, by the way, <laughs> because I, I, we're supposed to have, oh, actually, maybe I'll play a little bit, oh, maybe we won't play tomorrow. <gasps> I wanna play tomorrow, I wanna play immediately and finish the whole thing. Tomorrow I'm playing Town of Salem 2, the usual at 1 p.m. PST. Oh, I didn't read it. I forgot. That's okay. Oops. Oopsies. Welcome. I have seen nothing suspicious around here at all. Good evening, sir. Your head is very shiny. Hello. I'm from the Federal Immigration Regulation and Enforcement Division, or FIRE for short. I don't know anything. How may I help you? We've heard reports of alien sightings in this area. We take the issue of illegal interstellar immigration seriously. <gasps> That's why there's not aliens around here commonly. Literally aliens from space aren't supposed to just come here. Ooh, interesting. Have you seen any creatures you would consider to be alien in nature? Sir, nope. I was like, I don't know if I get to choose things in this game. I don't think so. I don't think so. But what should I be looking for? What's the alien look like? We're not 100% sure, but according to some eyewitnesses, it's wearing a spacesuit or something similar. We have to tell them to, to change. That's a pretty eye-catching outfit. You'd think an illegal alien would try to blend in better, right? To avoid attention, you know? 
That is a very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility that we have been running around after false testimonies. They are superior creatures after all. Thank you for the help. I don't know about that one, but uh, if you see any suspicious activities, please contact us through our website. Will do. I will not. You don't want to drink anything before leaving? We're good. Well, that's pretty rude of you. Take care on your way. And stay out. Phew. You really need to be more careful, Neil. Huh? Oh, I thought he was here and hiding. Together? Hello. <laughs> Good evening, Shelby. Yo. Hello, Miss Aqua and Miss Myrtle. Have you both been somewhere together? We planned to meet here. It's just a coincidence we arrived at the same time. Would you like to order anything? Do you want to order first? Nah, you go first. Okay. Can I have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint? Oh, heck yeah, I can do that. Mint, mint. Double the mint. She is the cutest. I love her. And they're girlfriends now. Here your drinks ready. Ooh, this looks really fresh. I call it, I call this Mar, I don't know how to say that. Inspired by its origin in Morocco. How do you say that? I don't want to say it because I definitely don't know how to do it. Even a little. I heard the people there really love tea. Let's give this a try then. Oh my, it's warm, but very refreshing. No wonder Morocco is often associated with tea. How about you, Miss Myrtle? Do you want to order right away? Sure, I'll have the Tariq. Am I supposed to know what that is? Is though. What do you mean? What is that? I might Google it. How am I supposed to know this? The other tabs don't have it, they're all undiscovered. I haven't discovered this yet. Yeah, I'm gonna Google it real quick. Hold on. Please hold. It's not cheating. I'm in charge. Um, I make the rules and I say this isn't cheating. You can't have my cookies. Oh, TT milk. I don't know how I was supposed to know that. I don't. I think that you have to. Maybe you're supposed to do it wrong, but I'm gonna be right about it instead. Uh, huh? Is there anything wrong? No. It's better than I thought it would be. Actually, the taste is really authentic. Yeah, I knew what that was for sure. I didn't just Google it really quick on my phone. Uh, just like the. I don't know what what that is either. That you get in Southeast Asia. I don't know tea. Thank you for the compliment. Where did you learn to make it? I. Google. I traveled around Southeast Asia a few years ago. Okay, I didn't know that was going to be part of the story. So you learned about it in Malaysia? Yes, and from videos on the internet. Yep, I, yep, that's actually true. I did go Google it, but it wasn't a video. So, um, how are things going in the office? As usual, tiring. But thanks to you and your team, we've made some good progress with a problem we've been stuck on for a while. I'm glad, I'm glad I could be of help. It's not every day our research can have an impact as direct as this. Only a few weeks after publication, no less. The thing is, even with your help, we still need to do a ridiculous amount of overtime to make sure the game will be available for the holiday season. Oh, I want to say please don't forget to rest, but I'm sure it won't be that easy for you and the team. Ha. <laughs> As if those executives care about us. Overtime is not mandatory, they'll say. Please see your family. Get some rest. But we all know... The optional overtime is a passive-aggressive move. We'll stay longer in the office anyway, because if you go home earlier than the others, you'll feel bad for them. You'll feel guilty. I understand that so much. I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's guilt. I wish I could help you. Or at least say something to boost your morale. 
everyone shouldn't stay. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give you advice about that. Everyone has to agree to not stay at the exact same time. For guilt is something that also bothers me a lot, even for things I shouldn't feel guilty about. Real. And you know what makes it worse? I know the state of the industry, and it still saddens me to realize that my favorite series was born out of such sacrifice. I'm sorry I ruined the mood for everyone. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Aqua. I'm not that bad off, you know. At least the company gives us decent compensation, healthcare, bonuses, and so on. And we're already used to this. So don't get- don't worry about me. Getting used to unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be a norm. Hey, cheer up. Remember, your research helps us out a lot. Thanks to you, the rest of the development is going to be much easier. How's your game doing, by the way? Actually, I have some good news about it. What is it? The game got approved to be showcased at Max- Max West! this year. That's really good news, congrats. Thank you. So what's the problem then? I haven't confirmed my attendance to the organizer. Why? Confirm it, fast. Before they give your spot to someone else. Another indie, I don't know why I just didn't read what I said there. <laughs> I'm just not sure about it. What's stopping you? Cost? The booth is free for indies. That's good then, and the event's even in Seattle. You don't need to spend anything on travel or accommodation. It's a golden ticket. But, I'm not that confident. You passed the selection process, right? That should be enough validation to reassure you of the game's quality. If I'm not mistaken, the judges are usually prolific people in the industry, and also senior journalists. I know, but I've told you about my game, right? It's pretty non-traditional, and thousands of people will be visiting Max, expecting full metal conflict in other bigger games. Uh, every game has its own market, you know? And you'll be in the indie area. People know what to expect there. Gamers aren't stupid. What if some haters visit the booth? What if they don't like my game and say bad things about it? Tell them to fuck off. Or about me? That's not gonna happen. It's an expo, not the internet. Yeah, that doesn't happen in real life. That's why you should spend those time on Twitter, like me. People are way nicer in real life. I just say things, I tweet, and then I, I turn it off. I immediately throw my phone physically away from me as far as possible, as soon as I hit send on a tweet, almost always. That's for real. <laughs> Even after all that, I'll still be there by myself for the whole event. Hmm, that one is a problem, yeah. Meeting that many people is already scary enough. Doing it for four days straight? Showing my baby to the public? I just can't imagine the horror. But she goes on her phone. <laughs> you know what? Huh. So far my schedule is pretty empty around then. If things stay this way until Max, I'll come with you. Oh my god. No, you don't have to do that. Even if you're free then, you shouldn't waste your time on me. Time spent on you is not a waste, dear Aqua. Relax or something. Being with you can be relaxing. You do need to also relax too though. <laughs> no, it's no, it's no bother. I'll be going to the event. Oh, she's going anyway? Wait, what? Oh, oh. Might as well come with an exec- uh, exhibitor badge. What about your company's booth? Don't worry about it. There are hundreds of us. Oh wait, so she was going anyway. I can just ask my lead to skip this year. But, but, but... I'm coming with you, whether you like it or not. Okay. Good. I guess they were going separately to the same place, but they're going together now, which is different. It means a different thing. And also, if I was Aqua, I would to, to go somewhere with me means I am clinging to you, and you cannot leave me alone. Those are the rules. Now, what are you going to show the game on? I'll have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the expo build ready? Expo build? You're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Um, that's the plan. Don't. It can give you the guidelines. I can give you the guidelines on what to have for the expo build. Do you have the game with you now? It's on my phone. I can send you the build now if you want. Do so. Okay. Got it. Now let's see. Oh! Hello, Miss Rachel. Hi, Shelby. Hmm, what's wrong? Huh? Nothing? I've been practicing all day and I'm pretty tired. Are you having a concert soon? 
Don't tell anyone yet, it'll be announced tomorrow. But I'm going to perform at Coachella next week. They're still adding new performers? Yeah, you might say that those announced this late are... Backups. Oh, but it's still the biggest festival in the country. Yeah, backup is not a lesser accomplishment at all. You got it. And I'm excited for it. I think I should celebrate with a special drink, something sweet. What do you want to order? A sweet hot chocolate. Okay. Um. Chocolate. <laughs> Honey? But, 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 then what? Wait, how do you make a hot chocolate like a regular one? Oh. Ooh, wait, can I? Oh, I can reset. So I'm gonna do two chocolate and a honey. Maybe. That's what I'm gonna try. Because a hot chocolate is just ch chocolate three times. Your sweet hot chocolate is ready. Thank you. How is it? Mm, not bad. It's not special. Well, how many hot chocolates do you have with honey in it? Please don't hesitate to call me if you need anything else. Thanks. Other than the instruction on the loading screen, try putting a time limit on how long they can play. Why? Wouldn't that break their immersion? Probably, but you gotta get them a little bit hooked and then you gotta pull it away. So they're like, what? I have to buy it. And again, and then you get their money. Probably, but in case there's a good reaction to it, you might have people lining up to play your game. Don't wanna make them wait too long. That makes sense. Oh, that's true too. You don't want everyone playing the entire whole game there for free and make everybody else wait too. If you don't want to put a time limit on it, try and ending the demo with a cliffhanger. That should get people's attention. Noted. Ooh, we're really busy today. Very busy day. Dad? What are you doing here? After what you did at the studio this evening? Uh-oh, oh. This is gonna be juicy. I was worried I couldn't find you anywhere around the studio. So I thought you'd be here. Now it's awkward for everybody. And now you're causing another ruckus? We're sorry, Shelby. We didn't mean to cause you any problems. You're sorry. I don't have anything to be sorry for. You are sorry. Well, anyway, I better order something. What are you having? What would you recommend? Might I suggest a cup of Spanish Sahara? Oh, what is that? I don't know. Basically a hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Sounds delicious. I'll take that. Okay, hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Okay. Ooh, that looks good. A whole cinnamon stick in there? Was that, a, it looked like a whole churro. Your drink is ready, sir. My, my. This is amazing. Glad you liked it. Dad. Yes? Please just go home after you finish your drink. Not until you leave that good for noth nothing pervert. I need him. He's going to help me become more successful. Oh, I don't like him. I don't like him. Tell me about him. I know, Morris. He is not a good person. The industry has changed, Dad. He's not like 20 years ago. Besides, since you left, He's been growing his brand, making his name, managing a lot of stars so they become superstars. I still have informants uh, in the industry. He hasn't changed much. And even if he has, it wasn't for the better. You're just being paranoid. First, you were afraid of how my fans would treat me. Now you're afraid of the industry too. What's next? You lock me in the house because you're afraid of the air I'm breathing? You're just too young to understand. Ooh, oh, they're fighting. Then make me understand, because this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. Didn't you learn anything from mom? You were together for almost 15 years, but you learned nothing. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. Aww. Rachel, I, I'm sorry. How much of a, of a, of a pervert is Morris actually though? Cause that matters, that's important. <laughs> I'm not trying, uh, but I'm trying, okay? Try harder, because right now you're not helping anyone. Not me, not you, not no one. I know, but give me a chance. You know what? It will take time for me to learn, but I am learning. Or, you know, I could return to the industry. I could try to be your manager. Dad, are you out of your mind? You've been out of touch for so long. I told you, I have informants there. I'm not that out of touch. I feel like he would know if this guy is a bad guy. 
maybe. I don't know. Wurzel, thank you for the prime. <laughs> and Bethany, the wild child, thank you. Of course there are things I'd need to figure out, but we... It doesn't work that way, Dad. You know that. Going from a girl band to a solo career won't be easy. If I take things slow, I'll lose all my momentum. If you don't want me to be your manager, can you at least choose someone other than Morris? I don't think so. Mr. Lester is at the height of his career now. He's the best... My best chance. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I've made my decision. Now please go home. Relax. And don't ever come to the studio again. I'm going back there. I need to practice for the festival. It's only a few days away. And it's a big chance to boost my presence as a solo artist. When are you going to be home? I don't know. I'll be staying at the hotel the label provided. But that's... See you, Dad! Wait, Rachel! Yeesh. And this is why I don't have kids. <laughs> Excuse me for a moment, Shelby. The thing is, I don't really love her attitude. <laughs> I'm sorry about what just happened. You don't have to apologize. Yeah, we were busy minding our business anyway. Were you actually, though? What? You didn't hear their argument, Myrtle? Of course I heard them. I chose to ignore most of it. It's none of my business. How do you- I can't do that. Is that a thing that people can choose to do? If some- if there's like a, a commotion, you can choose to ignore it? I don't think I have that ability. Like, literally. <laughs> That's me. Like, I'm- I'm such a- I'm listening to everything. I'm trying to listen to every conversation at once. All of the ones I can hear around me, all the ones at the table I'm sitting at, if there's multiple happening, I try to hear them all at the same time, while being a part of one of them. And that's hard, and you shouldn't be doing that, but it's so hard to not hear everything that's in earshot. I can't turn my ears off. <laughs> actually, I can, because if I'm reading words, I, I just, I become, I actually read the word is called inattentive deafness, and you just literally cannot hear. It, I don't, nothing is coming through my ears if I'm reading. I like, I cannot hear. Um, but yeah. What's so amazing about that? I don't think I can do that. Dividing and focusing my attention so completely, especially when, the, oh yeah, yep, yep, me. Especially when there's an argument like that? Are you saying you weren't listening to my advice and you were focusing on them instead? <gasps> Uh-oh. But yeah, but I don't have a choice in the matter, though. <laughs> no, I was listening. I made notes. I can do both. I listen to both. I make it happen. See, you didn't even realize. But you are capable of focusing your attention. Now that you mention it, it happens naturally, I guess. Being born into a big family is useful after all. Yeah, sometimes we don't ever realize... We even realize what we're capable of doing. By the way, you want to head back now? Back where together? Where are you going? Yeah, it's pretty late. Yo, Shelby, we're leaving. Hope you had a good time. Wait, we didn't see Frey the whole time? Thank you for the drinks as usual. Please take care on your way home. Freya never came today? Is it over? The day? No way. <gasps> oh, um, I guess that's all for to. Freya? Oh, never mind. Oh, you're back, Mr. Hendry. Are you alright, sir? Sir? Oh, yes, yes. Please don't worry about me. Did you manage to catch up with Miss Rachel? No, I lost her. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm sure she's alright. You can't literally chase after them, I think, in these cases. Uh, if they're literally physically running away from you. Uh... I hope you're right. By the way, pardon me for asking. Yes? Throughout your arguments with Miss Rachel, something kept bugging me. What's that? Why did you leave the music industry? Because he knows. Now that's a trip down memory lane. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh no, it's fine. I left around 20 years ago. Yeah, these days are long. I didn't know how long this would go for. <laughs> Rain one, thank you for subscribing for six months in advance. Thank you. Just as we were welcoming the beginning of the new millennium, it was a great time for girl bands, you know? They were huge in the 90s, and they were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade. I met my wife while working. She worked for a record label. That's how we met. I decided to get married and settle down. I wanted a peaceful life. You didn't find peace managing girl bands? Oh gosh, no. The politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it's good. But what hit me hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst. 
The teenage girls especially, they were crazy about their idols. Like when they go in chats and bring up some, they're not talking about, the teenage girls especially, to, uh, to the point where they started doing really unimaginable stuff. Like what? Spending all their money trying to copy the superstar lifestyle, abandoning their responsibilities, their families, and the men, they were even worse. They sexualized the girls in every way you could possibly imagine. Edited photos, stalking, outright sexual assault. It was before the internet, mind you. That's before people could get, like, uh, it's kind of put on blast for it online. It's, you wonder about the stuff that you don't see. I mean, the internet existed, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. I wasn't even the target of the abuse, but it haunted me. It was everywhere. Don't talk to me about peace. I couldn't sleep back then. Not getting enough sleep is dangerous for cats. What do you do for a living now? After we got married, my wife and I opened up a record store. It's not big, but we have a very specific audience. We're niche, but they love us for it. It's more than enough for our little family. You said you're still in touch with your friends in the music industry? They visit my place from time to time. And we all meet up at least once a year. Usually it's at my place. Gosh, look at the time. I should go home too. Are you going to be all right by yourself? Don't worry about me. I'm an old cat. We're stronger than most people think. See you later and sorry for bringing our fight to your place. Don't worry about it. All right then, goodbye. No Freya today. No Freya today. That's never happened. Okay, but that is gonna be all of it that we play today.